follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. morning hello how are you welcome to the weekend welcome to sewing street it's all a little bit uh, wild and uh, woolly here but that's all good it's great to have your company we've got a busy old day coming up ahead and uh, let's start with our early bird yeah now um it is national fairy day today and my mum is very famous for her fairy cakes. And what do you need if you're going to make fairy cakes? Fruit cake, scones, any kind of cake. Uh, you need some cake tins. Our early bird today is this set of three gorgeous cake tins. Look at those. Love the design. Little Tweety Pie Birds. Uh, 19 99 for a set of three. They're stackable. They go inside each other. Uh, and I love that retro design. Um, I always, whenever I come away for a, for a presenting shift, and obviously I stay away from home for a few days, I always make Charlie either a cake, I made him cherry scones this time, and pop them in a little cake tin for him, just so that every day, probably on the first day when he eats it all, um, he thinks of me. Um, our early bird, a set of three cake tins, 1999, not today, not on fairy day, not on my watch. <laughs> $11.99. Now, joking aside, that is a fantastic price, isn't it? I was in a certain uh, very 
high-end department store um, the other day having a look at some rather lovely cake tins in there and there was a set of three they were 60 pounds 60 pounds yes because they'd got sort of watercolor flowers and words painted on them emma emma i'm just going to say emma um 60 pound for a set of three and i thought gosh that's a lot i'm not going to get those 11.99 for a set of three and like i say they do they do all go into each other um oh, oh see this is what i'm like at home where's the cake where's the cake oh no that one's got to go I've got this wrong already. There we go. That one goes in there. That one goes in there. That one goes in there. And you know, for anybody thinking, Ooh, tenuous link sewing street cake tins i don't have to explain the connection between cake and quilting surely um it certainly fuels my creativity this body was built with cake and uh, certainly it's the thing that keeps me going when i'm on a a long old late night stint making a quilt lovely little set of three cake tins there 11.99 it's a very very cute design and a really really good good price that I was going to say, you know, you could actually really have fun making these into sewing caddies, couldn't you? I think you could definitely put a padded insert in there and then have your sort of sewing kit inside. Oh, I'm going to set a challenge. I want to set a challenge. T turn that into a sewing storage caddy. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Well, I think they're really cute anyway. Gorgeous little set of cake tins for eleven ninety nine. That's our official early bird. But I've got something which is possibly more exciting because it's a back in stock and it's something we absolutely love. And it is calico by the half meter two pound 79 we get very excited about this because even though it is absolutely a utility fabric that's the point it's the fact that it is so useful so essential for so many of us quilters sewers dressmakers uh, this is gorgeous quilters calico it's pre-shrunk pre-washed so you can go straight to using this um, and it is great quality uh, calico is of course 100 percent cotton it's 279 and a half meter width wise boys do we know what the width is i've got my tape measure don't worry i've got my tape measure i'll tell you with the width we'll do old school styly it is 60 a generous 60 inches wide so brilliant so if you're making twirls to check the fit on dressmaking if you want to back uh, fabric for quilting for things like bags before you do the lining or for things like cushions where you need to line the quilting and then make it up into something brilliant for that you can also use it of course for backing quilts and wall hangings it's lovely and soft it's pre-washed pre-shrunk calico it's going to work beautifully for that as well um, it's also really good for things like dyeing as well. So if you want to dye it, do things like tie dyeing, space dyeing or fabric painting, really good for that too. I would wash it before you dye it. Even though it's pre-washed and pre-shrunk, it's still, you want to remove any sizing, any dust, any dirt, any grease before you dye it. Otherwise, it can affect how the dye gets taken up in any fabric. Now, you often need the fabric to be damp anyway, so give it a wash first. Um, uh, also, very, very good for creating sort of big projects as well. So things like if you want to make a play tent or a wigwam for in the garden for over the summer holidays, um, this would be a very economical way of doing it because you've got 60... 60 inches wide now a hundred of you have already got this in your baskets well done um it's not actually uh unheard of for us to sell out the day that we get things back in stock um, we've been waiting a little while for this and we've got good stocks back in but so many of you have got this in your basket so uh what i would say is 
plan ahead it's not going to break the bank is it if you buy five meters of this um it's only going to cost you what would that cost five meters 279 and a half meter is it 27.90 yeah yeah really economical fabric it's a really economical fabric and that's a lot of fabric isn't it <laughs> five meters um, most people probably two three meters is going to be plenty for your stash um loads and loads of you have got this in your baskets um also this is very very nice to do things like embroidery and embellishing on and yesterday sally ann harrison and i were talking about how lovely it is to put things like um tana lawn and liberty fabrics really pretty soft feminine floral fabrics with calico or natural seeded cotton or even like a linen texture to sort of really play one off against the other do you know what i mean it's that sort of contrast it looks lovely uh, so this is 60 inch wide quilters calico pre-shrunk pre-washed 279 and a half meter it's finally back in stock and uh, lots of you are grabbing it ah there are all the messages they'd been swiped across lisa lamb says love your chirpiness Stuart. you must be still out from the night before all looking forward to a big night tonight it's bag legend lisa lamb everyone now lisa I, do you know, I'll tell you why I'm chirpy, because I went to bed at 7.30 last night and I actually went straight to sleep. And although I did wake up at about quarter past nine thinking it was the morning, <laughs> um, I did go back to sleep. So I've had a really good night's sleep. So watch out everyone. Uh, Jan says, good morning, Stuart and everyone. A bit misty on Portland today. That'll burn off. That'll burn off. It'll be lovely. Catherine says, morning. My grandmother believed in fairies. We used to leave food and milk out for the fairies. It was always gone in the morning. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Um, uh, Steph says, morning, Stuart. Sorry I'm late. But then I saw Sewing Street was a bit late. Hope all OK. Uh, we, 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 uh, you know, the, the eight o'clock sort of came upon us all of a sudden, didn't it? We were all jamming to some tunes out the back and suddenly it was like, whoa. <laughs> Keep going through for your quilters calico, won't you? Um, loads and loads of you got it in your baskets. Make sure you check out. Literally nobody is buying one unit. Every single one of you is multi-buying on this. Two, three, four meters a piece excellent excellent grab this while you can it's a really useful fabric to have in your stash yeah really useful we'll talk to adele Rowland as well later on about using calico to make a toile because i know adele's a passionate and very very skilled uh, dressmaker and um, we'll have a chat with her about that let's do the menu and then i've got something else exciting to share with you all right, so first off, 8 a.m., it's fabulous fabric. At 9 o'clock, Adele Rowland's here. I just mentioned her with the Sussex Seamstress Easter Gage dress. Now, at 10 o'clock, we've got bag making fabrics and accessories. Wait till I show you what we got. At 11 o'clock, Adele's back with the Wildwood wrap dress. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got budget friendly sewing machines. Now, while we're on the subject of budget friendly sewing machines, how about getting yourself a sewing machine for under £200? What if I was to tell you it was an Elna sewing machine for under £200? We have got that for you at 12 o'clock. If you know somebody who's been really inspired by the sewing bee who really wants to get into dressmaking or patchwork and quilting, has been inspired to sew, there it is. There it is. Uh, it's not going to stay at that price forever. It's a special launch price, £199 for an Elna sewing machine. And it's a beauty. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sewing on that later on and uh, give you a bit of a tour of that. But a great sewing machine. Also, you might be on the lookout for a sewing machine that you can take along to workshops and classes. Um, fantastic. We've also got the 240 from Elna at 229. We've got the Elna Experience 450 at 349. 
And we've also got the Elner Explore 340 at 349. So we've got a number of machines. We've also got the Brother FS250 computer ISO machine with a free walking foot for £399. Now, you can thank me for that because I pestered the boss and said, um, everybody needs a walking foot with that machine. Any chance we could get it thrown in for free? And she emailed me back and said, yes. As you asked, yes. There you go. If you don't ask, you don't get. So I asked and you can get. Um, we've also got darning foot, walking foot packages. We've got the brother walking, a darning foot rather as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna help you build your bundle and uh, get yourself a fantastic budget-friendly sewing machine. So that's at 12 o'clock. Now, I said that there was something else exciting in the bag making hour and I wanna show it to you now. But listen, don't run off and only do this. You've got to promise to come back, all right? Because I've got some fabulous fabrics as well. But what we have got back in stock are these. <laughs> these, in other words, this. Yeah, we've got the leather buckles, the magnetic leather buckles back in stock. Uh, we have not got huge quantities, but we've got the dark brown, we've got the cherry red, we've got the tan, and we've got the black. These are real leather. They are $4.99 each. Yeah, which is amazing price. The prim plastic ones are $11.99 a piece. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. I know, it's amazing, $4.99, they're real leather, they're absolutely gorgeous. They elevate a project beyond, um, I just think the addition of that buckle just brings it up, it makes it something special. Um, and they're easy, um, they're, the holes are all punched for you, so you just hand sew them on. You can either do a back stitch or you can do a Lisa Lamb style saddle stitch, which looks really cool, looks nice on the front and the back that way. Um, but yeah, those are back in stock. I wanted to let you know, we do have them in the bag making hour a bit later on, but um, we could well have sold out of those before we even get to that hour. So I just wanted to let you know about that. So let's get started, shall we? And, um, and then I want to introduce you to a quilt that's coming up on Monday, but I'll do that in a little while. Right, let's start off. We're going to start off with the rainbow bundles. Um, you know I love a rainbow, but let's launch straight in with a moody rainbow. So our Ben put these bundles together and I absolutely love how he's put them together. This, I asked him for a moody, a pastel and a traditional rainbow and he has not let me down. Check this out as a beautiful moody rainbow. So deeper, darker, richer colors, still with that gorgeous rainbow look. Isn't it fab? 24.53? But not today, not today. Make a saving, 22.53, go for it. That's awesome. So you're getting six half meters, three meters of fabric for 22.53. Love that, absolutely love that. Now you could use this just on its own, make a lovely rainbow solids quilt. You could mix this with uh, white to make it brighter, fresher. You could mix this with black to really make it intense and punchy. But also what you could do is you could take each of these, take them to your scrap pile, grab all the fabrics that you have, your scraps that have those green tones, all the different rich greens, pop them with that, make nine patch blocks, 16 patch blocks out of those, half patterned, half plain. Take your yellow to your scraps, grab everything that's got yellow in, do the same again. Orange, your claret, your deep magenta, that deep blue, and then your purple. When you're finished, you'll have busted all your, your scraps, you'll have a load of rainbow nine patch or 16 patches and then put them together into a quilt. Uh, you'll have a fantastic scrap quilt, it'll all come together 
and there was the starting point. It is a fashion rainbow. It is a fashion rainbow. It's a moody fashion rainbow. <laughs> I love that. Right, that's our first one. Thank you, Ben. Good work on that. Good work. Next up, let's do the traditional rainbow. So this is sort of crayon bright, isn't it? Uh, that proper rainbow. We're going to match the price as well, don't worry. $22.53 for this. Um, this is really pretty because we've got that beautiful pink in there as well. Wait a minute. There we go. A blue and a purple and a pink. That is really sweet. Again, you could do the same thing. Use your scraps, mix and match with your solids. Um, this would also make a really beautiful project for Pride Month. Gorgeous, perfect, bright rainbow. This would also be really lovely to create things like birthday bunting or some banners for a celebration. What about uh, barbecue in the garden? Make some bunting, yeah? Summer's here, summer's here, yeah. I love a bit of uh, I love a bit of bunting in the garden. Instant party, isn't it? Instant party. Carnivals. Yeah, they are around now. I love that. Also, just a really great opportunity to get three meters. Uh, in fact, this is three and a half. Was the last one three and a half? Oh, it was, wasn't it? I said three meters, and it's not. It's three and a half meters. Seven fabrics. Awesome, even better. That is beautiful. Um, yeah, lovely opportunity just to get a lovely selection of bright fabrics that you could use for things like bag linings. Um, of course you could, let me just for a second, just pop the moody rainbow into here, just so you can see the interplay if you were to go for both. Because if you went for both, you could really... Oh, now then, now then. That's a bit of all right. That is a bit of all right. So that's our classic rainbow and our moody rainbow. What about if we go for the uh, pastel rainbow as well? And then we've got those lights, mediums and darks. Pastel rainbow next. So pastel rainbow. Gorgeous. Oh, loving this. 22.53. Amazing bargain deal this. Oh, loving this. Loving this. Loving this. So again, I'm just going to mix this in. Actually, I've got my classic rainbow at the top of my dark. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shift everything up and I'm going to put these along the top. Where's my purple? There we go. There we go. There's my purple. And then my blue. So what you could do, something like baby blocks need a light, medium and a dark to create a three dimensional look when it's all pieced together. So you could use these. There we go. So now we've got our pastel rainbow, our classic and our moody. Lovely work, Ben. Now, which is your favorite? We wanna know, are you team classic? Are you team pastel? Or are you team moody? I'm definitely moody. <laughs> definitely, definitely Team Moody. I do love those deep, rich, intense colours, but when you see them all together, you really do get a sense of how those colours could work in a broader context. Yeah, yeah. Three bundles, and actually those three bundles uh, would be under £70. Significantly under £70, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Sadly, I like all three rainbows. Teddy in Wimbledon. Teddy, don't be sorry. Be glad. <laughs> That's great. I do too. But if I have to pick one, 67.59 for the whole lot. And that would be 10 and a half metres of fabric. 
That's a, that's a massive quilt kit, isn't it? That's a massive quilt kit for under £70. Another message. Which team are you on? Good morning, Stuart. Loving team, Moody. Thank you, Jennifer. You're on my team. Team Classic's on the lead. Is it now? Is it now? Interesting. Well, but, you know, I always love a bright rainbow. Nothing wrong with that. Team Moody's one behind. Okay, fair enough. Well, all right. Pastel's one behind that. Okay, fair enough. It's pretty even, Stevens. Now, what about if you're just not into rainbow at all? Can we have something which is absolutely not a rainbow? <laughs> Ben's a joker. This is called absolutely not a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. So matching the price, twenty-two fifty-three. This is not. I repeat, not a rainbow. This is so so useful. We need to do more of these. And we've been talking a little bit this week about actually putting together a resource that you'll be able to buy maybe a charm pack or a swatch book something like that so that you can order and know exactly what color you're going to get what will match um, but actually these bundles are a very very good way i know it's a little bit more expensive um, than buying a charm pack but to actually have really usable pieces of fabric you could cut a five inch square off of each of these if you're going for any of these bundles label them up just use a santangle pen or a fabric safe marking pen mark up the swatch and and clip it inside your journal or a diary something like that put it on a notice board so <clears throat> yep i was gonna say right we've got beige ivory latte natural seeded cotton white vanilla and nude <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous oh don't say that beverly beverly says is there something wrong with the website please no not today we'll see we'll have a look we'll have a look morning stuart looking very trim have a great weekend team classic rainbow from susan in hampshire thank you susan i wasn't sure i bought this shirt yesterday and i wasn't sh i wasn't sure about it I don't know whether it washes me out or whether I look like I'm going on safari. Website's fine for us. Beverly, if you are having problems, just give the call centre a ring. Let them know what issues you're having, please. Because if anyone else is having that issue, let us know. Um, yeah, we want to get on top of that right away if there are any problems at all. Thanks for alerting us. Steph says, I don't suit pastels. I go for classics, but I adore deep and moody colours in the winter. Yes, it is very season dependent, isn't it? And I feel the same way about fabrics when I'm sewing as well. Although I have just been doing a lot of kind of autumnal sewing as well. But, you know, the thing that comes back time and time and time again are those neutrals and especially those sort of creams whites tans lattes and nudes you really can't go wrong vanilla I do love a bit of vanilla oh thanks Steph Steph says the color suits you lovely oh that's really kind thank you you know when you're not sure about something though and you think because I could just I could wear blue for the rest of my life Good night, really, let's be honest. And every time I buy a new blue shirt, Charlie says, oh, oh, now that's a bit different, isn't it? A blue shirt. <laughs> cheeky, it's really cheeky. So thank you, glad, good, great. So, uh, yes, I, do you know, I'm going to challenge myself to put these in order. So we've got white, we've got ivory, we've got seeded natural, we've got vanilla, we've got latte, We've got nude and we've got beige. Yes, we did. We said beige. I think that's the correct order. All right. Fab. Love that. Loads of you going for that. Don't forget, we've got some great and really good price bundles. 22.53 for three and a half metres of solids. We've so far had Team Classic Rainbow. We've had Team Pastel Rainbow, Team Moody Rainbow. 
That's me. And then team absolutely not a rainbow. Not on my manner. Morning Stuart, you've already got me spending but all three rainbow collections as I can't decide. Samantha, I can't decide either really. Um, but also actually having all three means you can do that light, medium, dark thing with different shades of the same colour which sometimes is exactly what you often is exactly what you need isn't it we always say in in quilting you know you need your lights your mediums your darks and actually most of us when we're buying fabric are attracted to pattern fabrics and they usually tend to be mid-toned most of us go mid-tones and if you look at your stash look at your scraps you probably find there is a huge gap. There'll be loads of one value, and I suspect it's medium, and then and I have more of the darks as well, and then I have hardly any light-toned fabrics. So useful, useful. Now then, I've got some more beautiful colour palettes. But before I go on, I do just want to remind you, we've got Quilter's Calico back in stock. We're talking about stocking up, and this we just love and can't get enough of. It's 279 per half metre. This is Quilter's pre-shrunk calico. This is the good stuff. This is the stuff you can use for twirls, quilt making, quilt backings, 60 inches wide beautiful quality cotton it does not have that smell if you've ever bought like cheap calico the stiff you know rough it has a very very distinctive smell nothing at all on this because it's pre-shrunk pre-wash it's lovely stuff right let's grab some more bundles now can we do this one because this is delish this is the one that's got the rusty colours and a bit of teal and green in it. So you've called this Dahlia? Dahlia? Yes. You say Dahlia and I say Dahlia. Lovely. Lovely. 19.99 for that. Now you've got gorgeous deep rust and paprika you've got coral you've got is this is this salmon or peach peach i want to say misty blue and sage i wondered if it was sage love that palette that is really classy isn't it absolutely beautiful bit woodland i'd like a saving i'll take a pound i'll take a pound 18.99 for that that's awesome three meter uh, three meters three meters for 18.99 fabulous i love that i love that get your woodland prints and your autumn batiks and mix those in gorgeous quick question quick question can i get the calico quilters pre-shrunk all in one piece if i order multiples catherine absolutely and thank you for reminding me it's cut to order so if you order five units you'll get a two and a half meter piece all in one go thanks for that catherine important important point loads and loads of you've got that in your baskets um Catherine says, yay, this is talking about our early bird, the gorgeous cake tins. Got my tins, did my research, and a set of three tins elsewhere is between £18 and £22. Our price was £12.99. £11.99 for the cake tin. Absolutely brill. I'm having a bit of a laugh with that. I know it's not exactly sewing related, but it's cake related, and I'm there for it. There for it. Yeah, the cake tin, or like the small one, actually, the small one, I have a tin exactly that size at home, which I use for... Never started something, wish you hadn't. Beat out that rhythm on a drum. <laughs> Beat out that... I would use that as a button tin. I don't know why I felt the need to get all the tins out just to say that, but I did. But they're just lovely. I just love them. Actually, these... Whew. 
Did you do that deliberately? Did you do, did you do that deliberately? Look. Look at that. Love that. <laughs> Bruce, our director, wants to be Team Cake Tin. No, you can be Team Rainbow or nothing. That Dahlia bundle, we, I'm going to have to say Dahlia. Don't keep saying Dahlia, honestly. Uh, our Team Dahlia, Dahlia, darling, um, we've got oversubscribed. There's more in baskets than we have. Uh, I really like this one. I'm going to grab this one next. Now, this one... This makes me feel very much about uh, the pixelated rose quilt that we had yesterday. This is called Rose, and with good reason. Half a metre of each of six different uh, colours. Morning, Patricia. Love you. Lots of love from Warm Blackpool. Gorgeous. $18.99. You're saving a pound. Apple bottle fur oh that's sage that's is that bottle oh bottle okay so apple sage bottle blush fuchsia and rose very nice so if you wanted to do your own pixelated rose quilt you saw the idea yesterday 18.99 and you've got half meters of each of those fabrics that's fab. A message. Morning, Stuart. Just got the Moody Rainbow Bundle. Get in. Uh, by the way, love the shirt. Almost William Morris. Helen in Plymouth. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I wasn't sure, but I'm getting more sure now. I'm joining Bruce in Team Cake Tin, says Teddy in Wimbledon. It's not a team, Teddy. I have not given it official sanction. It's Team Rainbow or Team Absolutely Not a Rainbow. Oh, Bruce is welcoming you with open arms, steady. <laughs> you can be a team of two. <laughs> team Caketon. Actually, you know I'm Team Caketon. Uh, that's lovely. Really like that rose bundle very, very much. Like I say, if you wanted to do your own pixelated rose, or you could do, in one of my books, actually, I think it's Simple Shapes, there's um, a foundation pieced, like crazy rose, which would be gorgeous done in these fabrics. Very, very nice. Very nice. Right, next bundle. This is lush. Really nice sort of modern palette, this. This is called Peony. Two and a half metres in this bundle. Oh, that's lovely. That's sophisticated. That's really sophisticated, isn't it? And I love that selection of colours there. Absolutely gorgeous. What colours have we got there, Ben? I'm thinking if we got, is this claret? Claret, coral, navy, peach, peach navy, and school grey. School grey. I think it might be in Make 100 Quilts, that rose foundation I was talking about. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, lovely, really nice. Fifteen ninety-five. That's awesome. Great price. Absolutely great price. Loving these solids bundles. Really nicely put together, aren't they? Our Ben puts these together, and um, he is a rather fabulous interior designer. So his bundles do have that lovely interior design look to them, don't they? Next up. Yeah, last bundle of the solids. What's this one called? Botanical. Now, that, excuse me. Now that's actually giving me. Actually, I would have called that Scarborough. Scarborough Fair, because actually it's giving me that sort of traditional British seaside vibe. Port Merion. Port Merion. Oh, I love Port Merion. Port Marion is lovely. Yes. Yes. 
that's lovely because you've got those sort of plaster colors haven't you over here and a lot of the buildings in Port Marion have that sort of painted plaster walls it's beautiful and then that gorgeous bright blue absolutely lovely yeah yeah corals and aquas really nice so color wise what have we got here let's find the colors we've got coral peach ivory buttercup jade and sapphire beautiful yeah a bit of gemstone there i love that sophisticated and rich everything i look for in a husband <laughs> we did finding the perfect partner yesterday <laughs> gorgeous really love that right awesome i want to show you a quilt quickly um this one this is coming up on Monday. This is a brand new quilt pattern from me called Cobblestone Cabin. Um, you also get the pattern to make a half size block as well, which I've used for this cushion, but you could make the whole quilt out of that. And then I'm just gonna move my lovely lady out the way. Here, I've got the sun moon and stars quilt which is a brand new quilt from jason yenta how fabulous is this look at the border print isn't it just fabulous uh, you are the sun the moon and the stars just love it just love it it's a re it's really different isn't it and then when you look at the fabrics in the actual quilt blocks there are toadstools and constellations and golden highlights and um sort of almost like woodblock printed suns and moons it's really detailed fabric it's something a little bit different um, just gorgeous so that's coming up at eight o'clock on monday i'll be guesting that hour and then cobblestone cabin will be at 10 o'clock again on monday really excited about that it's going to be great fun right let's do some beautiful printed velvets i love these fabrics i'm gonna kind of grab some of my favorites if i may in fact, you know what? I want to start out with a little bit of this. This one ends 01. Yeah, Jenny Jackson, my girl. She's going to be here tomorrow with her uh, strip quilt block of the month, her row of the month. This is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So I'm thinking jacket and matching capri pants in this would be absolutely stunning a throw for a leather sofa it's a printed velvet it is exceptional isn't it i love it uh 8.99 a half meter just gorgeous fabric tanzania beautiful love the name too got loads of these different printed velvets <laughs> Steph, Steph's having a little sing song to herself. I can sing a rainbow. Burr, 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 burr. Um, let's go. Six one. I'm actually thinking about decorating a bedroom in this sort of style. I want the wallpaper. I want plantation shutters. I need a velvet throw, obviously. Gorgeous cushions as well. Really lovely for interiors. Great for bag making as well. Um, there isn't. This isn't a stretch velvet. It's very stable. Very stable. So nice and easy to work with. Beautiful that one, isn't it? Are these all eight ninety nine a half meter? It's really good value, isn't it? Because they're very sort of high end looking. And if these were in a, you know, posh interior shop in London, they'd be, you know, 80 quid a meter, wouldn't they? Um, seven zero. This is luscious. This is like, you know, if you close your eyes and think about what paradise would look like, it's um, it's probably that. 
or if you were on a deserted island and you sort of left the beach and walked into the interior I think this is probably what you'd find I'd be looking thinking roasted plantain and fruits what could I have for the main course don't ask <laughs> fruit <laughs> fruit <laughs> gorgeous though isn't it it's so detailed absolutely incredible for 899 that's rainforest black so the background's that really intense black beautiful um oh a message thank you i have the paradise velvet it's even more beautiful when you get it than it is on tv susan in hampshire it's really hard to to show really but it is amazing ending five zero um i'm just gonna lay that out for a second this is fabulous um what about something like an upholstered chair like with the seat and the pad on the back um or even something like you know your regular kitchen chairs but uh you know with that for the drop-in seat pads or even just a really simple cushion like that there it is how cool is that if you make and sell you make and sell using really beautiful distinctive different fabrics uh, makes all the difference that is stunning absolutely stunning yeah absolutely gorgeous um, lots of colors in there you could pick out love the bright pink in there that's been pulled out uh, we've got that on a black background as well this one ends one two and I am all there for bright colors on a black background because look at how that pops now personally I want that for a headboard an upholstered headboard because I just think that is absolutely wonderful so rich and if I just hold it up for a second so you can see what you get for $8.99 I think that's pretty stunning it's good isn't it really good uh, can I just say by the way Moody Rainbow is now in the lead thank you everybody <laughs> love that absolutely love it you could do a very very simple throw with that I'd back it with something else maybe like a you know a bright pink velvet would be lovely or even a bright pink satin or a cotton put the two layers together so all the way around the outside edge just leave a gap for turning you could maybe add some big chunky tassels at the corner and then just throw that over a plain sofa especially one that maybe has seen better days what a great way of just giving it a bit of revitalization uh, next one this ends uh four five so this is we've been to the tropics to the jungle this is very much an english country garden just extraordinary look at this we've got beautiful butterflies and moths there are orchids uh, beautiful tuberoses hellebores lilacs gorgeous honeysuckle there one of my favorite scented flowers just absolutely beautiful isn't it and the way the roses are coloured, how all of the, the, the different blooms are coloured, they are gorgeous. Mama loved the roses, she grew them in the yard. Charlie sings that to me, it's lovely. Which one, what kind? Yellow roses, nice. Love a yellow rose. Uh, next one ending one, nine. <clears throat> Julie asks does the full scale of the pattern show in half a meter please um, well for example on this one absolutely yes it does because I don't know if we can go just a tiny bit wider you can just see here is the bottom of the repeat right here and then up here is that same flower so yes it does in that 
I would say they probably pretty much all do. Collector in Merseyside's got in touch to say, I have had lots of the velvet fabrics made simple makes like cushions and zip pouches, but the fabric makes them look fabulous. Love them. Thanks for that message. It's true. It's all about the fabric, isn't it? Sometimes you can do really clever stuff and then it's about how you've sewn it together. But often it's about picking the right fabric. And, and I think especially when, when you make and sell, your time is probably the costliest thing uh, for to, when you make and sell. And it's the thing that people are probably most reluctant to pay for. So if you can get really beautiful, stunning, eye-catching fabric at a brilliant price and make something lovely with it that's quite quick to make, there's your profit. There's your profit. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. A message on screen from Tracy, who I believe is Ghoul. Um, don't want to rock the boat, but I'm Team Botanical. Love Tracy and Ghoul. <laughs> ghoul is where I have my studio. Hi, Tracy. Morning. Um, yeah, no, I love Botanical. I love Botanical. This one's Botanical, isn't it? This one right here. This is Team Botanical. Just a minute. Just a minute. That does look really nice with that. Botanical, botanical, yeah, yeah, maybe lose the blue and maybe put a darker teal in there. Although, I don't know, we were talking yesterday about sometimes you need that little bit of spice, that little bit of something which isn't quite matching, which just brings the whole thing together. Yeah, love it. Thanks, Tracy. Ben is thrilled that your team botanical me too actually uh, leslie joy's got in touch good morning Stuart, and all hope you have a good day it started well hope you have a good day too uh, that's lovely just love that teal background uh it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous color uh, next up, let's go for something really soft and gentle this time this one ends five three this is still very beautiful but just a soft Look at that. Now, um, I'm thinking, are you mother of the bride or mother of the groom? I'm thinking, can you imagine a long line coat worn over a dress? You know, like our queen always wore those beautiful coats over a dress and just always looked so stunning and classic. That would be beautiful. Uh, have a friend that makes lampshades with this fabric, says Ellen in Pembrokeshire so cool and again you can get lampshade kits they're really reasonable and if you do make and sell you can buy them in bulk um, this fabric would look incredible can you imagine a stall at a craft fair that just had all different velvet covered lampshades in all different beautiful beautiful botanical prints stunning loving this you're loving this honestly think that would be amazing for dressmaking it would be lovely for for interiors i think that's obvious but but i think that would be really beautiful for dressmaking something like a duster coat a long line jacket um adam brooks has made a jacket out of this velvet and i so wish <laughs> that it would fit me because i would love it it's gorgeous yes i'd steal it ending four eight oh this is a bit different because this has got a beautiful grid in the background now that would make a stunning headboard wouldn't it that would make a stunning headboard really beautiful um, curtains blinds so beautiful isn't it love this little bit of black gorgeous i think if you're going to do this you can either do it one of two ways you could have this in a very plain simple either neutral or you know bright colored or intensely colored you could use this deep sort of plummy pink on the walls for the paint 
use this and just have this is the only pattern or you could go the other way and just have pattern on top of pattern on top of pattern and just have loads of it. Can you imagine, you know, you can buy those lamp bases that are like a pair of macaw parrots, but they're gold. And then this as the lampshade, just beautiful. That on a table with another different velvet over the table. Just go wild in one room in the house. Love it. A message? Go Team Tins, says Captain from Dark. It's Team Cake Tin. But yes, absolutely. That's three people in Team Cake Tin now, Catherine. <laughs> I think I might have to join it myself. Morning, Stuart, says Fiona in West Yorkshire. I've bought a few of the velvets. Um, have the turquoise one to cover a stool, which is 100 years old. Would you hand wash it? That is a really, really good question. Um, I think I would just surface clean it with a, a, a microfiber cloth and warm, mild detergent and surface clean. Yeah surface clean actually what might be a bad idea actually is you can get those spray protectors can't you that, that you can spray upholstery with always test a little bit of fabric on its own first before you use it on your your finished make but um yeah so it repels the dirt and grease but yeah i think surface cleansing absolutely fine and um, this next one this is that same print but with a green lattice in the background this is deep and intense isn't it Loving that one. Gorgeous. A few more to get through and just a couple of minutes to do it. Uh, oh, this is pretty. This is very William Morrissey, actually. This ends 9-7. Look. Look. That is very classic. Oh, they're mangoes. They're mangoes. I love mango. Oh, the mangoes in the Philippines. Oh, my goodness. that you don't have to use a knife. You can actually scoop the flesh out with a teaspoon and it's almost the texture of sorbet. So smooth, delicious, the sweetest thing you'll ever eat. Now I remember my friend said to me, I mean, he just saw how much I was enjoying it. He was like, well, don't eat too many, you'll get fat. <laughs> Ending four, five. So if you love all the pattern, but you don't want all the color, this is much more, almost sepia toned with exotic birds and butterflies and some really exotic blooms in there as well. But it's almost like a vintage photograph, isn't it? Mm, mm. That would be lovely, actually, in a room that just had lots and lots of greens. Actually, it sort of, sort of matches me, doesn't it? Just noticed that. Right, uh, last two. So this one ends two seven. You got it. Oh, now this reminds me of, you know, the sort of country houses where they have that sort of beautiful chinoiserie furniture and lacquered uh, furniture and just beautiful vases, ginger jars, things like that. This would be the fabric that you would use for the upholstery and for the curtains. It's luscious, isn't it? And look, there's a tree. Oh, this you could just get in frame. Yes, if you have an ugly mark on the wall, put a piece of that over it and then a gold gold painted ornate frame you can buy them in charity shops can't you put that over an ugly mark on the wall uh, and then the last one ending seven three it's that sepia tone but much more intense because it's on a black background this time and again that would be amazing to create a really stunning statement jacket or cover a screen right a couple of quick bundles to show you and then we're out of here for our first break. Uh, poppy cotton, poppy cotton in the red. So gorgeous, love poppy cotton. You're saving five pounds, it's 54.92. Uh, just gorgeous florals, aren't they? Really lovely. 
You're getting eight and a half metres, four metres in total. Lovely. Mix that with white. 54.92 for that. Poppy cotton, hopscotch and freckles, warm fabric bundle. These are the warm colours. The reds, the peaches. You can all get these on pre or on the pre-order page and um, by the half metre as well. 749 a half metre. I'm just thinking jam pot covers. Half a metre of that. Well, any of them would be nice, but these two particularly. Apricot jam, strawberry jam. Very nice. Yummy. And then we've got the cool, the cool palette. Let me just turn that around. There we go. That's better. These are the cool. Yeah, the, the flowers are gorgeous. Really, really sweet. Yeah, gorgeous. Love those. Right, we're going to a break. Uh, when we come back, I will be joined by Adele Rowland in our first dressmaking hour. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Good to have you company. It is the weekend and it is Saturday and it's our first of two dressmaking hours with the fabulous, the one and only Adele Rowland. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Very good, thank you. How are you? Good, really well, thank you. It's lovely to have you back. I always look forward to our shows together. Yeah, we've had quite a few this year, we haven't have, we? We have, which I like very much. Yes. Um, <laughs> talking of loving very much, your top, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You crocheted it? Yes, I made it last year. Um, I tried to follow a pattern, couldn't get on with the pattern, so I just made it myself. Oh. Oh, we need to get you on Yarn Lane, young lady. <laughs> well, back on Yarn Lane. Yes, You've done it before. Yes, I've done it before. Awesome. Very nice. Great colour. Now, uh, Adele is here, not for crochet, but for fabulous dressmaking from the Sussex Seamstress, who is a very, very popular designer here at Sewing Street. We're doing the Eastergate dress. Uh, this is a fab, this is a, a wear again and again dress, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really comfortable dress. There's no difficult fastenings or openings. It's just got a lovely shaping around the bodice that's just gonna be nice in the summertime. Yeah, gorgeous. Bit drapey, nice yeah. and floaty, cool and light. Um, the pattern for the Eastergate, um, which as Adele said no fastenings to worry about no zips nope. no buttonholes none of that shenanigans um, easy fitting as well this the pattern comes in sizes 6 to 30 so you get that full range of sizes in one pattern I was actually looking yesterday on on uh, Instagram and somebody um, that I follow had posted they'd been making a dress and they'd got everything cut out and then started putting it together and they were making the XL the pattern went mm. from a double X small through to an XL and she was making the XL and it was too small for her oh. which is so disappointing because she hadn't got the next size up on her pattern um, no problems like that with this pattern. This is a 6 to a 30. You get everything in there for the Eastergate dress, which is lovely. Uh, it's 15.50. That's a really good price for an independent 
dressmaking yeah, pattern. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it comes with really sort of robust pattern pieces because it's not that tissue paper, it's actual paper paper. So you know that you can use this again and again and again. And like with the fabrics that you've got, you can go from a patterned or a plain and it'll mm. give a completely different look. Really different look, yeah. And you could use heavier weight or lighter weight fabrics yeah. depending on the season. Love the fact as well on the pattern, Adele, that the writing is so nice and big and bold. Yes. <laughs> that just, I like that, I don't know why. No, it just I, seems to I make it easier. because um, I've had it before where the pattern piece sort of name is so small that I get them mixed up. Right. Or I forget which piece is for what. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really fantastic and like I say you can reuse this again and again. Dare I say foolproof. Uh, mm. Hello Stuart and lovely Adele, our amazing talented teacher. Isn't she wonderful? I love it when Adele's on. Oh, Always happy you. when you're on with dressmaking. That's Pauline in Greater London. Oh, thank you very much Pauline. My father-in-law who's a very very good dressmaker as well, he loves it when you're on because he always learns something new. Oh, he always you. calls you the school teacher. Oh yeah, <laughs> which I'm is never going to lose that, Which I? is cute. <laughs> but he loves that, he loves oh, that. Uh, okay, we're doing the Eastergate dress from Sussex Seamstress. We've got the pattern on its own 1550 lots and lots of you going for that uh, i would check out your baskets nice and early for that because these patterns do sell out uh christine cummings has got in touch to say love adele so much lots of kisses for you there oh thank you very now, much now we've got some lovely fabric bundles two patterned and four plain let me show you the pattern first these are brand new and these are designer fabrics as well. Uh, you get a four and a half meter bundle or you can buy this by the half meter. Now we'll do the bundle first. This is a four and a half meter piece. Now um, type of fabric, this is a viscose chalice? Yeah, so it is very floating, quite lightweight. Oh, it is. So, um, one thing I would say is if you've never dressed made before, this wouldn't be a very first fabric choice okay. I would choose something that's got a little bit more weight yeah but on the other hand it gives a beautiful drape across the bodice yeah yep. um so it and also it's a digital printed fabric so the print is really bright and it vibrant, is it's it? gorgeous and very crisp yes you're making 10 pound 92 saving on this bundle on the individual half meter price by the way just let you know it is gorgeous and floaty mm. our our solids are a slightly heavier weight yeah just only slightly because you do need a drapey fabric for this um but this one is on the the scale of the most drapey oh absolutely and i think you can face. see it i'm just kind of giving mm. it a bit of a waft and do you see how like over here even the slightest movement is rippling yeah. i'm just thinking you know at that wedding where everyone else is getting a bit overheated and you're you've just got the gentlest breeze on you and you're staying cool as a cucumber beautiful that uh you're getting four and a half meters that's enough to make the largest size of the eastergate dress if you do have any leftovers, I know you've made a size. So mine's a size 10 um, and I had just under a, a meter. But what I would say is because the fabric is so beautiful, it can make a beautiful top as well. You there could. Are, um, I don't want to tell anyone, but well, I'm going to say it. There's, if you Google free patterns for under a meter, yep. there's, you can get lots yeah. of great I'm ideas. like a little camisole top. Yeah, like a little top. camisole top. Um, just a little sort of shell top without sleeves. So yeah. you can get quite a lot out of one meter. I've yeah, actually yeah, yeah. made a dress out of a meter as well. Seriously? Yeah, because it was just a straight A line yep. and just a tiny bit of shaping here mm -hmm. and you can get it out of a meter. Oh, so don't think this is going to be leftover fabric. No. See, I was being a bit dull and boring thinking you could make a lovely floaty scarf no. out of the, but you, you could make, make a top, top, make a dress, yeah. make a dress. Uh, right, by the half meter, by the half meter, it's 8.99 per half meter. 8.99 per half meter so if you're thinking well okay i'm about a size 12 i could get away with three and a half meters yeah, for this you dress do a bit of tetris but adele am i right you wouldn't go under three and a half meters oh, no. whatever size you're making no because we've got a full sleeve and the skirt is very full so the skirt 
is a whole piece that has to have that whole length. You can't get anything next to it. Understood, understood. So if you're a smaller size, don't go for less than three and a half meters. Um, uh, in the pattern, it doesn't actually give individual fabric requirements per sizing. I know you're probably thinking, tell us what, how much I need for my size. It's not actually in the pattern. Um, Sussex Seamstress gives um, single amounts for all the sizes 3.4 meters if it's 150 wide 4.5 meters if it's 115 wide and that is the only fabric requirements so um you made a, f a f size 10 12 12 oh, no 10 sorry it was it a, 10. a 10 in this one size yes. 10 and had about a meter left over all right great thank you for that adele so 8.99 per half meter if you want to buy it by the half meter now we've got a second floral bundle and again this is a designer uh, collection uh, viscose chalice again it's that light and oh mm. look at the float now that is a really gorgeous color that isn't it it's almost like a rose gold in the background it is. with it's that daisy lovely. print with a nice pair of sandals crisp white sandals and like Ooh. even in this sort of the cooler evenings put a nice white blazer over the top with oh i like that she's such a classy dresser <laughs> i love that um more of this in baskets than we have we've got four of these bundles left that's it six of them in baskets so that's going to sell out now we've also got it by the half meter if you'd like to get it by the half meter and you could make yourself just a lovely drapey um shell top yeah. or a lovely drapey scarf with this or even this length if you've already got a pattern that you've bought previously with yeah. this that's a maxi length this is enough to go through so go and have a look i've always got um all my patterns I write on the front how much fabric I need oh. so that if I quickly need something I can have a look through That's my stash. That's a good stash. idea, like that. Good tip, good tip. This is great to see Adele back in the studio with you Stuart, the dream team. Yay! Oh <laughs> thank you. Sussex Seamstress has got in touch to say, morning Stuart and Adele, always a fabulous demo from Adele, fabulous fabric selection today too. Fabulous. Uh, Christine says, love Adele so much. Aww. That is beautiful. If you want that fabric by the half meter, by the way, $8.99 per half meter, you are making a saving by buying the bundle. Mm. You're saving over 10 pounds. Um, Sue says, love Adele. She makes all her demos doable. Oh, well that is, that is what I want um, to get across because dressmaking does scare some people and you don't need to be scared about dressmaking. Just you really it. don't. You really don't. It's true enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do some solids. So still viscose chalice, a very slightly heavier weight than those designer florals. But look at the price, $24.99. That's for the four and a half metre bundle yeah yeah you see you could always look this is what i'm thinking with the black what about getting yourself half a meter of this and doing yourself a little scarf to wear yes. with the dress yes. so you can team the two together or you could make a little sort of um like kimono to go over the top perfect which would love look that. really nice love that idea this is the black classic black Looks good on everybody, I yep. think. Uh, just lovely. Uh, you get four and a half meters. That's enough to make the largest size. That Remember your Easter gate pattern goes up to a size 30. From a six to a 30, UK dress sizes, always, always measure yourself. Yep, um, absolutely every time measure yourself. And also there are finished measurements um, on the pattern as well. So there is an ease with dressmaking. Sometimes I like to, to think, well, I know the pattern's meant to be oversized, but I want it a little bit tighter, especially with these. They, do you remember when Sewing Bee called them buffet dresses? Oh, we do. Yes, yeah, so we the do. idea that they're quite floaty, not fitted. Is that so you can hammer the buffet yes. and your dress still fits yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> but um, there is an ease to it and sometimes you want to maybe adjust that ease yeah. so definitely measure yourself and always look on the pattern brilliant brilliant advice as always from adele uh, marie says morning lovely boy and adele <laughs> have a good day yay <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, really popular on the black solid bundle. Amazing price. We've got single figures left. It's only $24.99 for four and a half meters of chalice, viscose chalice. Uh, you want to check out your basket on that really quickly. Do we have this by the half meter? We don't. These are just bundles. Okay, super duper. Next up, let's go keki. Keki. Uh, this is a, we've called it sand. Okay, yeah, I get that. I'd call that khaki. Yeah. Would you call that khaki? Well, that would look really nice with the tan as well. Oh, yeah. A mm. little bit of tan. Yeah. A little bit of tan. Someone's going to Australia for the summer. Yes. You get a little bit of tan while you're there, won't well, you? I've not even started packing. So. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going for? Uh, 21 days. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Gorgeous. Well, you'll be needing, like, but I'm thinking, lightweight clothes yeah. for packing for holidays you want that lovely cool floaty comfortable dress yep. that weighs next to nothing that you can shove in a bag and then just whip out when you get to the resort yep. pop it on and you look fabulous yeah um this is great and khaki always looks good doesn't it it yeah. kind of suits every skin tone yeah you can accessorize it with so many different colors this is great 24.99 again and that is for a four and a half meter bundle yeah and amazing I value i wouldn't worry about it creasing too much because if you take it on holiday what i always do is get my dress um my hangers mm -hmm. put all my dresses on my hangers and then go and put them in the bathroom and mm -hmm. then when someone has a shower the steam yeah relaxes just them. relaxes the wrinkles out but it helps with uh the weight of our bags last year we yes. were almost over our weight oh we don't do holiday. that don't do that. Uh, next up, we've got the cool blue. And I love that this has got a slightly slaty, slightly gray blue. Actually, this mm. is not a dissimilar color to your crochet top. Yeah, it's like, like a robin egg. blue, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, really like that. Again, this is that sort of classic color. Anyone can wear this, but I think particularly if you're blonde, it's a gorgeous color. Hello, Ben Gibbs, have we met? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, love that. Again, twenty four ninety nine. It's a brilliant price, isn't it? Make yourself the Eastergate dress. Maybe a little matching scarf or a little matching kimono style mm. top. Gorgeous. Or even just like you know, like um, a hair tie or a little you yes. know, a little yeah. Little scarf ties are really lovely. Just mm. to. To hold back the hair when it's hot mm. from your face. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Beautiful, that's the blue. And then the last one, is this rose? Okay, my mum did have a rose this colour actually when we were kids growing up. It's, it's quite heather. a heather. Heather or lavender, yeah. I really like this colour. It's gorgeous colour, isn't mm. it? Really lovely colour. 24.99 four and a half meters beautiful beautiful a question i have a question uh hi Stuart Adele. would you be able to make trousers out of the plain chalice please from lindsay in greater manchester Adele? so out of this fabric yeah oh yes these would be super comfortable. What I would do is nothing too fitted. No, elasticated I would go like, waist. Yes, an elasticated waist. If you don't want the gathers around this area, mm -hmm. what you can do is find a pattern that has a flat waistband there yep. and then gathers all the way around there. Oh, I like um, that. And then, like that. Yeah, so I've got a couple like that because mm -hmm. I get a little bit conscious about here mm -hmm. and then have a little vest top tucked in and then oh, it looks gorgeous. And quite wide leg. Yes, like nice. palazzo pants. Yes, I love yes. those. I love those. With your little flip flops with a cocktail. <laughs> you are almost in Australia, aren't you? <laughs> it's not for another a few weeks i'm afraid adele but it's good to plan yet yeah, no beautiful for trousers mm. actually you could couldn't you from a four and a half meter piece yeah you could do trousers little top 
Yeah, so it will make like a faux jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is, oh, I'm getting really excited, I'm thinking I could do this now. Um, <laughs> some Great. nice palazzo or wide leg trousers, a little vest top, mm -hmm. tuck it in, looks like a jumpsuit, but they're more comfortable when you're going to the loo. To the loo, I was just about to bring the, the mood down and say when you go to the loo, but you no, did it for me. No, you've got to always think about the practical You've got to think about these aspects. things. Yeah. You really do, you really do. One last thing I'm going to mention before we go to demo is we've got Quilter's Calico back in stock. And Adele, I mentioned earlier, Rod, about making a toile. Yes. Yeah, so um, not so much just like this, but something it needs to be fitted, especially around the bust area, I would always recommend. So um, I was talking to you earlier that I'm actually making a dress for my daughter and it is going to be quite fitted. And she's giving me strict instructions. Mum, I don't want it baggy. I want it like the photo. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need to twirl. Doesn't mean that you have to make the whole thing. Nope. Just make where the bust star is, where... The, um, the straps are going to sit, then mm -hmm. I can fit it to her body, then I can take that as my template, put it onto my fabric and then cut round. And it. cut round. And if you're buying calico to have in your stash so you've got it ready for yeah. a twirl, roughly how much would you buy? So I would buy stash? around two metres because you want to be able to have enough that if you want to make a bodice and it goes slightly wrong or to, to get that, it, I always think it's like the bust. You want a great fit on the bust. Yeah, you do. So. Fab, thanks for that. Um, uh, I thought you were going to say something else. Didn't that, you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sussex Eustress has got in touch talking about trousers yeah. to say that sounds like my Chaley trousers. Oh, yes. Yeah. So go and have a look. She's yeah. got a great selection. The Chaley, C H A I L E Y, the Chaley trousers from the Sussex Seamstress. Perfect. Right, Adele, yes. make me a dress. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make the whole Don't dress. Don't make me a dress. Do you want to bring her over I will. for me? I will. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have a look at the bodice today. Oh. <laughs> Do you want it right over in the middle? Yeah, let her come next to me. So there we are. Oh, she's a bit wonky. Hold on. She she's is, on, she's the on the mat. There we go. So we're going to have a look at this bodice here because the bodice is fully lined as well, Stuart. Oh, lovely. So there's no facing that's going to flip out. And then we've got some really nice full sleeves. Mm. Um, I really like this length of sleeve. So it sits just below the elbow. Mm -hmm. And I find that really comfortable. Um, even in warmer weather, I've got a couple of dresses that are like that. and I, Because I burn really easily in the sun. Mm -hmm. So... I know that I'm going to have this part protected, mm. but still be quite cool. It yeah. is perfect. And also, I know a lot of people are conscious of their upper arms, yes. don't like them on show, yeah. like them covered up. So this nice, even for something summery, yeah. you've got a lovely floaty cool dress with sleeves. Yeah, and there's loads of room in there. It's not like a tight, close sleeve. So there is lots of gathers here and lots of gathers around there. Um, this. If I put my arm in just now, there is still room there as well. Yeah. So it isn't restrictive in any way. And that's what I really like about Sussex Seamstress patterns. They're, they're fitted to a real body. They really are. They really are. And as you mentioned earlier yep. on, no closures, no. no zip, no buttons, nothing. No, and there's a slight little gather at the back here. Again, gives you a really floaty skirt Ooh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, it it is looks perfect for my like dress. a cool outfit, doesn't yes. it? Cool yeah. in the temperature temperature sense yeah. as well as style. But also with this fabric I think you could put a pair of tights and boots with it in the winter time. Oh for sure. And it's not too low cut either. No. So it's going to be a great autumnal dress mm. as well and in mm. the plains like you say you could accessorise it with a print. Mm. So it's very very versatile. Yeah. Love so it. we're going to have a look at the bodice. Mm -hmm. um, I've already made one up because you make two exactly the same. Oh, would you mind just passing me my instructions? Yeah, of course, no please, problem. Stuart. Thank you. So I've already made one of the bodices. Now that is what's Did really you say important. You cut here. two. Yes. So oh. what you have to do, look, it says cut two pairs. Okay. Now that always kind of boggles my mind. I'm like two pairs four pieces okay so you cut it once and then cut it again and within here at the very back it does show you exactly how to fit oh you can see that can't yeah you? so you need to have them twice so please don't just cut it once and then put your scraps away make sure that you've got everything first mm. okay 
So what I've already done is I've sewn my two front pieces together. There is a front seam here. And then I've already, already sewn the back. Now this isn't cut out on the fold because there is a slight curve here at the top, which helps it. If you see here on the, the mannequin, it sits fits flush. fits really nicely, actually. Yeah. I noticed that earlier on, how flush that fits on yeah, the back. Yeah, we've got to always remember that our back isn't straight. Look, even if I put my hands up like that, there is an inward curve. Mm -hmm. So it sits lovely on the neckline mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, no gaping neckline. Great. And then also, I've already put it on my shoulders. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same again. All right. Now, there is no bust start on this. The um, actual shaping for the bust area comes within this space here. Now, again, this is what I would always say. If you need, usually do a full bust adjustment, mm -hmm. what I would recommend is making a toile mm -hmm. just of this area here, just to see that it fits over the bust. Now, if it does need room, unfortunately, because we don't have a bust start, you're not going to be able to cut and slash and things like that. What I would recommend is you would go for a larger sized mm -hmm. bodice piece because the gather here can accommodate oh, that change. okay. So maybe if you're making the 18, yeah. but cut the 20 bodice but, yeah. and just extra gathers to just bring it to, to the right side. to bring it because those gathers sit under the bust. Perfect. So, you, so that gather sits there. So you want the fullness here. So if you see where the bust sits yeah. and that gather as well, let me just show you, it doesn't fit flush against the body. Mm, so mm. we don't need a perfect fit on no. the bust, but it just allows that extra room to fit there. That sounds like an easy adjustment. Yes, yeah. yes, and that's the beauty. She does talk in the, the pattern about how much we need to gather this in by, mm -hmm. but again, this is the beauty of dressmaking. You can make it to fit your Gather body. it to fit. Exactly. Mm. So. Um, oh, thanks for that, I like that. <laughs> it's always funny when I get towards the end of uh, my makes. Quite often I'm, I'm trying them on, trying them on, <laughs> trying them on, trying them on. And my husband's like, make sure the curtains are closed because <laughs> i'm like well i need to just try this and just make sure this bit fits yes you're in the zone you're in the yes, moment yes. do you think they do that on sewing bee well <laughs> i always think oh have we got some pins yeah i can get you a pin dish um, i always think actually because they fit it to the the, the model yes don't they, they do they do so i've never fitted it well i've got this challenge coming up with my daughter's dress mm. when we fit it to the body often they try it on inside out don't they yes. so then you can take any seams in mm -hmm. and then put it back on so it's really interesting that's but are we symmetrical people no, i'm not, we're not I definitely aren't <laughs> no and also what i've noticed as well is the way that we stand isn't always straight. So you yeah. might have one shoulder that's slightly lower. Yeah, yeah. So if you're ever, not a dress like this, but if you're ever making a dress that has straps, don't just assume that both straps need to be the same length because you might have one shoulder that's slightly lower mm -hmm. and you'll need to tighten that side up. Mm, so that's tip. another tip. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this front seam here. It's a one centimeter seam allowance. And like I said earlier, this fabric is very fluid. So when you're cutting it out, I cut out with pins, but I also put other things on top of here. Mm, mm. So um, quite often it's just what I've got hanging around. Mm. You could use pattern weights for something yes. like that, I suppose, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could. Um, I've, it's just my phone or my iPad or something sitting yeah. on. Just to help as you're cutting out. If you cut out with a rotary cutter, obviously it's a little bit easier, but mm. if you're cutting scissors, it does sort of shift slightly. Cool. Okay. Right, let me just get my pedal the right way around. I heard a great tip the other day, which was for, it was a different type of fabric, but it was to lay a sheet on Ooh, the table yes. and then put the fabric on top so it doesn't slip and slide yeah. off. I thought that was a really good yeah. tip. My only uh, worry, because I'm not a great, uh, I wouldn't say I am patient, but I just like to get going. Sure. That I'd probably cut the fabric. Cut the sheet as well. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's very important as well is we don't need to finish all of these seams, but we do need to press them open, mm -hmm. okay? So always have your iron close by. Don't wait to the end to do any pressing and dressmaking. You've got to do it all the way across. 
We've had a few sellouts. The black viscose and the rose viscose have both sold out. Well done if you got those. We've still got the khaki suits everybody i think that yes. color so easy to accessorize we've got three of those bundles the that beautiful sort of ice blue that dusky blue we've got three of those left as well the patterned viscose we've got three of each that's it gosh is that all we've got okay right you will need to be quick on that then yeah um, and there's still time now because i made this dress up in one afternoon mm. there's still time now to to do a bit of holiday sewing oh for sure mm. well a lot of people especially those who aren't restricted to school summer holidays yes. a lot of people <laughs> book their holidays for september don't they or early october yes yes so you no, know and if you're going abroad of course it's beautiful it'll be beautiful and sunny then oh yeah unfortunately i have to do premium but yeah australia though in july it august it'll be it'll be lovely yes so it'll be lovely so um like my sister's just had her hen do and i was looking at the photos and um because you're going for her wedding yes right? so that's towards the end of the holiday and um they're all in trousers but still in t-shirts yeah but i remember when my sister moved over there she she laughed because the first couple of years in the winter time she's like it's so hot <laughs> now she's like it's freezing and like, it's like our summer's day and no it's you soon get used to it yeah you climatize charlie and i are the same when we're there if there's a day when it starts well oh it's a bit chilly isn't it i might need a guardy yeah like, but i've been sorting our um oh our um flying outfits yes. so our outfits for the flights mm -hmm. So comfortable. Comfy, elasticated waist. Yep, so I'm going for the full jogging bottom yeah. jumper combo. One of the things I find that I take that just makes it so much more comfortable, I have a, like a little face kit and it's the, Ooh. you know, the um, mist, spray mist yes, that you can I've get. Yes, I've got some of that actually. Take that with you because that will be so comforting. Refreshing. Moisturiser, take moisturiser with you. Yeah. Um, and if you can get those little cooling iPads that you can buy, you can often buy them underneath, in the, underneath your eyes. Yeah. Just when you wake up in the morning, if you've had a little sleep, pop them on and yeah. it just freshens you up. Oh, nice, nice. You'll step off that plane like Beyonce. Oh, well, after 30 hours with my kids yes. sat next to me. Yes, <laughs> of course you will. Of course you will. Carol says, good morning, all. Morning, morning. lovely. Uh, Derek says, we're so lucky the Scottish school summer holidays start this week. Yeah. And before the holiday prices go up. Yes, they're so Can lucky. He? Yeah. Friends of mine, actually, that I taught with in Birmingham, I remember once the Scottish half term was the week before ours. Yeah. So they'd all gone back to school. So they actually travelled. He and his girlfriend travelled up to Scotland and they flew from Scotland because the prices had gone back down again. Yeah, so, so it was a bit of a trek, but it was worth it. We also have the issue that um, my daughters are in school in Leicestershire. I teach in Derbyshire. They break up a week before me. Oh. And all my friends who have the children in there, they all jet off cheap. Yep. And I'm like, no, I've got to wait. No. But then I always think I never go back in August. True I enough. I always go back in September. So True I, enough. Uh, I'm very lucky. Right, I've just done the shoulder seams. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fit the first bodice, mm -hmm. which is under here, onto the second bodice. And let's just double check. I always, even if I've made it before, I always still have these open for me, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is have one right side, one wrong side, and then they're going to be right sides together and then we are going to sew around the neckline. Gotcha. Okay. I've pressed all my seams open. You won't be seeing these seams, so you don't need to finish them off, but just press them open. It's a lovely finish to the to the dress, isn't it? Having yeah. a fully lined bodice, I like that. Yeah, and because it's so lightweight fabric, you're not adding a lot of uh, weight here to no. keep you warm, but it gives you a little bit of substance around the bust area. So yeah. that also, it isn't see-through, but you won't be able to see your bra through it. Right. You've got to think about that, Stuart. Yes. So Boy. you just feel a bit Every more day. secure. <laughs> uh, collector in Greater London says, Sewing Street Studio, good morning. Morning. Uh, 
I have just tuned in. Really like the pattern. What level do you think? What level do you think? Okay, so does she say exactly where there? I'll have a look for you. Then. Yeah, I would say an adventurous beginner because it's just the gathers that you just need an extra little bit of manipulation. There you go, intermediate. I like that, intermediate. Yeah, adventurous beginner. Yeah, because it is... Committed beginner. Yes, because it is a very lightweight fabric, so I wouldn't say very first pattern. No. Um, we'll go for the solid chalice. Yeah. Go for either the khaki or the blue. That has a little, little bit, bit more, heavier. Yeah. Just very slightly. Um, but like I said at the very start, there's no zips, there's no buttons. Mm. There's nothing really to contend with in that. So that's fantastic. Right. I'm just pinning all of my bodies together around the neckline. And then what we're going to do is sew so let me show you where we're going to sew. We're going to start here, go all the way around and then go here. Full then, neckline. Yeah, then what we'll do is fold it in, press it, a bit of understitching um, and then the bodice is done. Awesome. That was easy enough. Ooh. I'm thinking definitely a confident, adventurous beginner. Yeah. The khaki sand viscose now, that's sold out. The only solid bundle that we've got is that gorgeous dusky blue. In fact, I'm just going to grab it because I do really love this colour. And I think, like you say, it would be very flattering. Yes. Um, it's almost like a... A denim colour, isn't it? It like is. Stone washed denim colour. Yeah, almost like a chambray. Yeah. I think if you're very fair skinned, it's going to look lovely against really fair skin. I think if you've got any kind of warm tones or tan tones in your skin, it's also going to look really terrific. It's just, um, oh, see, that's my kind of blue. Ooh, on my, yeah. you know, it just instantly makes your skin look that little bit warmer and a bit more tan. Did you realise your bracelet matches your shirt? I did. Oh, it's intentional. <laughs> <laughs> For once. Normally it's just whatever I can throw on. But I genuinely thought this morning, oh, that matches. <laughs> you made my day noticing that, Adele. Oh, Thank it's all you. the small details. <laughs> that is a bit of Amazonite, oh. which is one of my favourite semi-precious gemstones. What's the meaning behind that? Does it help with... Amazonite? Yeah. Because sure. I know crystals and stones can carry different meanings. Yeah. I, yeah, they can, can't they? Yeah. I'm not sure. I just thought it was a really lovely... I love all the different colours. And I love the bit of sort of beige and brown in there yeah. and caramelly tones. It's really nice. Where did you get it from? This. Is it a cotton memory behind it? Online. Just bought oh. it online. Oh. I didn't know if Charlie been bought me the two exotic. leather ones for my birthday oh. earlier this year. So. I don't know if you'd been somewhere exotic. And no. Picked up some treasures. No, not for a few years now. I'm about ready. I'm a bit jealous of all the holiday talk, actually. <laughs> and I started it. Yeah, she did. Mm. <laughs> okay. So what we're also going to do really quickly is just snip into these curves because when we're folding this, we don't want the fabric to bunch up. We want the fabric to fold over. Nice and flat, okay? yeah. So I'm just gonna get some scissors. I've got them earlier, there they are. And I'm just gonna snip in and then we're gonna press. Mm -hmm. There we go. So do you snip all the way around? No, I just snip where the curve is. Okay. Um, you could, there's only a, a, a centimeter seam allowance. So, and with this fabric, you wouldn't really need to cut down too much. No. But if you were using a heavier weight fabric, when you cut curves, I would take some of that seam allowance out as well. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Georgina's got a question for you, Adele. Could this be made sleeveless and use the lined bodice as your facings? So, yes, yeah, so you could do that. Uh, I'm just trying to now think. If that Let was me... just... If you sewed around the arm holes as well. Yes. And then pulled it through from the bottom. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna let's let's have a quick not look, but let's have a just I'm gonna do the side edges and let's just see how that would work, mm. shall we? Mm. Um because that would be really nice and then you can add really a cardigan nice idea. and then take a cardigan off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're going somewhere really tropical. Oh, Georgina, where are you going? Yeah, tell us more, tell yeah. us more. 
adventuring in the tropics. Ooh. Do you know one of the places I it's not tropical at all, but one of the places I really want to go to is Argentina. Really? Yes, I'm obsessed with going to Buenos Aires. Oh, and I also I love so um, going on vineyard winery tours. Oh. And of course there's loads of lovely wine made in Argentina. Oh. Right, I think I've gone. Argentina and Malbec is my favourite. Right, that's put me slightly off now, but oh. I do think, let me just unpick that. I do think it is possible. Yes. Sorry without showing you. I was just going to wing yeah. it then, but yeah, no, I think it will be possible. Again, it's just getting your head around the fact that you'd want to sew around there and then you'd, yeah, you'd have to then trying to work that out. I think you would sew I'm those two seams it. separately. Yes, you would have you? to, yes. You'd just do those two seams separately. Yeah, but there is a possibility you'd of sew doing an outer that. and you'd sew the lining seams up and then put them together. Yeah, one thing I would say though, if you're taking a sleeved garment and trying to make it into a sleeveless, just be aware that that armhole might be slightly over. Yes. So you might need to just reshape that armhole. Do a twirl. Yes. Do a twirl. Um, there Get is a, some there calico. There is a difference. There is a difference. You can't just simply take a sleeve off and it sit comfortably because that sleeve, like if you look, that sleeve sits on the edge of the yes, shoulder, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. Georgina says it's albeit in Spain, so not really glamorous. Oh, it is. Oh, it sounds glamorous to us. Uh, albeit in Spain with a nice uh, G and T in the hands. <laughs> Soul to the man in green. <laughs> oh. Can I just have the instructions? Of course you can. Sure. I, like I said, I always like to have the instructions open just to double check what I'm doing. Isn't that reassuring as well? Because Adele is a very experienced dressmaker and you've made this dress, but yeah. the instructions are really, really good from Sussex Seamstress. Absolutely. They're always useful. Absolutely. And it's the illustrations for me. Um, I love a good, clear illustration. I'm not a big fan of when it's a photo and it's got busy fabric trying to tell me where it is. I can't wear that out. Just give me a simple line diagram yep. and then I can work that out. Shading, right yep. side, wrong side. Yep. Lovely. Works out perfectly. Was that cake tins? <laughs> okay, so we're going to press this now and again, You've, it's really important that we press this well because we've got a little v-neck here and we want that to sit flat it will want to try and bunch up here this is where pressing is going to press that mm. and make that nice and flat mm -hmm. now on mine i did a bit of top stitching instead of under stitching mm -hmm. um it does talk about under stitching and again look at the good instruction there about how to unstitch mm -hmm. tells you exactly where the piece of fabric will lie um so it's totally up to you again dressmaking you there is an element that you can change what you want but i i really like a bit of top stitching as detail you see mm -hmm. um i love top stitching i love top yeah. stitching Oh, right. Susan says, morning all, Amazonite is apparently the gambler's stone <gasps> and promotes good luck and wealth. Oh, okay. So not the gambler's, but Definitely good luck. Definitely not a, a gambler, but uh, I'll take the good luck yes. and wealth. Yes. Right. I'm just pressing that. We're not going to unstitch because I really want to get onto the sleeves. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, if that's all right. So you would top stitch. You're not going to, but we'll no. jump ahead to the oh, Top stitch sleeves. or under stitch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what's really important is, if you look, we've now got lots of bits of fabric together, mm -hmm. okay? I did need to put that in, I'll do that quickly now, okay? So we need to make sure that we keep all these edges together, mm -hmm. all right? So I'm just going to flip that back over. Sorry, I was talking all about Australia, and I just need to do that inner seam there. My fault. So you're going to sew around the armholes? Yes. We're going to sew this edge bit up here. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So those two and these two here. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then that is your side seam as well. Got okay. you. Um, again, you can choose 
pins or if it's quite delicate. Do you know what I've really got into at the moment? Go on. Using clips. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm loving a clip mm -hmm. um, because I feel sometimes with pins, if I pin it and then I sew in, it's, my pins are in the wrong way, it can get quite annoying. Mm. So I love a, a clip. Mm -hmm. So there that's all go. four layers together. Yep, and I'm just going to sew that. And then what we've got to do is eventually we will treat this bodice as one full piece, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? So we are going to baste around the armholes and based around the bottom so that when we add the sleeve when we add the skirt mm -hmm. it's just one piece of fabric i understand yeah. it's not uh two pieces of fabric trying to work against each other mm -hmm. okay so that's really important i'm just trying to work this out now yeah sorry no no about getting all those layers together yep. you have to get your head round, don't you read a little message uh, Teresa's got in touch to say morning Stuart just home from work so coffee on oh that sounds lovely feet up as well uh, we have some lovely vineyards right here in Essex well maybe Ooh. that's what I'll do then I'll have a trip to Essex love 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 that quilt behind you while uh, Adele sews that scene this is gorgeous isn't it it's the um, sun moon and stars quilt from Jason Yenta I'm launching this at 8 a.m. on Monday it's a beautiful beautiful kit it's an easy beginner friendly pattern and I'll show you how to make it on Monday it is lovely Ooh, nice okay let me just get that scene there I've just taken it da, 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 da. awesome there we are so yeah I was asking you earlier wasn't I how about all the kids and all the the lambs are going. Oh yeah, everything's very busy on the farm right now, but everyone's kind of out in the field just kind of eating grass and really? lazing around and oh yeah Enjoying the animals the love it how yeah. did they cope with all the heat well we've got a, a wooded area right. where all of the sheep just congregate they've got loads of space underneath it's all completely shady and cool yeah. so we don't see them for right. days on end because we just know they're all under there that's good so we have to walk over there every day just to check on everybody make sure everybody's okay and they'll come trotting out Aww. quick head count make sure everyone's walking or running fine oh um, and then we leave them to relax again uh, the sheep uh, the goats rather spend a lot of time they have a, a barn a big barn yeah and then they also have acres and acres to just explore and enjoy but so mostly in the summer they're like flaked out in the barn just uh, they they ruminate so What's they that? feed and then they just have a little lie down so they 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 like cows oh, they have yes, uh, ruminating they have stomachs. stomachs don't they yeah and then they sort of sit there digesting their their breakfast oh lovely <laughs> so yeah it's all good fun it's all good fun Oh, I've got myself all mixed up. I'm really yeah. sorry. In a little tangle. Yeah, I yeah. am. Right, sorry. Don't I'm really worry. sorry. No, it's fine. No problem. Right, let's go back just go in. back. Let's go back. It isn't the instructions. It's me gassing that's caught me off guard. Do you want me to give you a couple of yeah, minutes? Yes, you wouldn't I'll mind. Go the other I'm sorry. Come with me. Come with me. I'll bring my tea. <laughs> I'll just do a quick recap actually we've got our Sussex seamstress Eastergate pattern today we'll put the graphics up it's 1550 and one pattern one does all the sizes so everything from a UK 6 up to a UK 30 all of your sizes are in the pattern as Adele mentioned there are no tricky fastenings to worry about there's no zip there's no buttonholes or anything like that no bust darts either and if you do need to make any bust adjustment Adele's recommendation was go for a larger size bodice pattern and then just gather it to fit which I think just sounds really super easy um, a fully lined bodice beautiful dress kind of thing you can wear spring summer into autumn uh, used with a variety of different fabrics as well today we're making it with viscose chalice um, but all sorts of other uh, fabrics would be suitable for this as well I should think something like a, a light jersey would be rather nice for this dress now we've got a few fabric bundles to go with the largest size takes four and a half meters of fabric we'll start with our designer florals 
we've got literally one of these bundles left well done if you managed to get yours it is absolutely gorgeous i've not seen a fabric with this much beautiful fluidity to it it's not at all see-through not at all see-through but it is so light and floaty so um uh, really cool for in the summer absolutely beautiful um love love the black background it just makes those colors pop and also this is a digital print so it's just really crisp really clean looking um uh, just looks delicious mm. love it is almost for me it's almost like brightly colored chalks on a chalkboard it's got that gorgeous brightness to it love it so that's our first bundle you can also get that fabric by the half meter if you'd like to uh, details on the website uh, our other floral bundle there are two of this one left five in baskets out of the two of them i think i might be team rose gold i think that's really lovely it's got a kind of rose gold background and then this beautiful white daisy with a deep orange center to it again it's a lovely super lightweight again not at all see-through but remember your bodice on the easter gate dress is lined fully lined anyway so um just gorgeous two of those bundles left 69.99 uh, you can buy that by the half meter as well now our only solid bundle that we have left is this gorgeous sort of robin egg or duck egg blue we're very very limited how many do we have left ben oh literally a handful We've got, ah, we've managed to add a few more because this was very popular. We've added a few extra. So we've got just a handful. Again, really light and fluid. Can you imagine standing on the hillside in Santorini and there's a gentle breeze coming off the Aegean, uh, just rippling that beautiful Easter gate dress. Am I painting a picture or what? And they said they didn't want the novel. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I want the novel too. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to just mention is our Quilter's Calico. We call it Quilter's Calico, but our dressmaker's calico. 60 inches wide. It's pre-shrunk. It's pre-shrunk. It's perfect to just cut and use. 60 inches wide, 100% cotton. Perfect for twirls perfect for quilt backings for backing things like cushions lining things as well um, it's a brilliant all-rounder i'm all done Stuart. awesome i'm coming back just wanted to give you a bit of space there oh oh, oh there we go awesome. that's why you always read the instructions of course it is. So it I does... just, I, what i'd done wrong so i'll tell everyone okay. what i'd done wrong is I'd missed out putting the side seams together before I put the bodice together, two sides. You do so, that bit first. Yes, so you need to do the side seams first, then your bodice goes over the lining, and then you've got that, okay? Got you, and you managed to come back from that. Yay! Really? Right, so Kat this morning said to me, um, do you need any special uh, equipment or anything like that? I went, a seam ripper, please. It's like you knew. Uh, it's like I knew, but I always have one of these close by. Um, if I've done a project without it, I'm kind of like, well, what have I done something wrong? True enough. So what I'm now going to do quickly is I'm just going to show one sleeve. So I'm going to just sew around this armhole to hold those two pieces together because we're going to treat this now as one piece. Gotcha. So you're kind of basting the two edges yes. together. So you're going to sew within the okay. seam allowance, cool. okay? Do you want a few minutes extra? I don't want you to feel rushed and we can we can spill over okay. a few minutes into the next hour, can't we? Because I'd like to give one just to see how we put this, yeah, yeah, definitely. this in, if that's all right. So they wouldn't let you have that on the sewing bee. What? But, a few minutes. You know, a few minutes back. But we're we're lovely here. Oh. <laughs> I gotta ask you, what what do you think of the so what did you think of it this week? So can the I art. Say, can I say, Be I honest. Don't watch it. You don't watch it. So um can I be really controversial? Go for it. You are a sewing bee star, but 
I found about two or three years ago, the whole shift of it went slightly different. We were talking about this, weren't we? On yes. Wednesday morning. So, um, and the shift has gone to? To more of an entertainment rather than an actual sewing show. Like they don't really show much of the sewing and some of the- um, Clowning around. Yes, I'm really sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, I think I found a friend. <laughs> yeah. But I just, I didn't get excited anymore watching it. I didn't yeah. go, oh yeah, I'd love that. Oh, I like how they've done that together. No. Oh, I wouldn't have chosen that fabric. It feels too much like, yes, they've got the they've got to show entertainment, but the people that watch it often can sew and we want to see the yeah. sewing. And the people who are taking part, who I absolutely adore, just as much this year as last yeah. year and five years ago, but they're not getting a chance to necessarily show off what they can really do. No, and I think the um, the middle pattern piece uh, section, I feel like it's a bit of a joke. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would never get a tent and make a dress out of it, but how about we go to a charity shop and get a shirt? They and say then make this every time. I want them to march them to a charity shop, give them a fiver each yep. and 20 minutes, and then buy whatever they can buy for five pounds and then go back and make something yep. wearable and, and refashion it out and of that. And how much fun would that be? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, Sleeps. sorry, sorry. <laughs> I feel like we've really got that out of our system, Adele. Yeah, I think it's, it's true. It's, you've got to be honest. Honesty is the best thing. It is. Okay, so let's talk about this sleeve. Look how beautiful and wide this sleeve is here. Mm. Now, what we've got here is a few notches. And if you've never dressed made before, you might be going, well, why have I got one, two, three, four, five notches? Mm -hmm. So this middle notch is going to go at the top. Mm -hmm. This here has got two. That's going to be our back piece. Mm -hmm. This one here is our front. And then we've got two more notches where we're going together. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Along the bottom, we're also going to uh, gather this piece in as well because we've got a lovely cuff to I love on. the sleeve. It's a gorgeous shape, it isn't is, it? It is, it is. So I'm going to take just one and we're going to gather between that notch there and there we go, that notch there, mm -hmm. okay? So a gathering stitch is just a very, very long stitch length. Um, and with a fabric like this, quite often, as you're sewing, it will start to gather up itself. Yes, yes. Leave yourself a long tail. Don't be using that thread cutting button this time. No, long tail, and already that's Yeah, not. I can see that. And all I'm gonna do is just take one of the tails and give it a slight pull, okay? Mm-hmm. There we go. Just a slight pull. At the moment, I'm not, got any measurements to ease that in, I'm just gonna give that a nice little pull. Yep. What we're then going to do is sew this together along here, mm -hmm. normal stitch length. Oh, yep. there we go. Yep, don't forget, all been there. Yep, <laughs> forgetting to reset our stitches. Completely, completely. Oh, right. Teresa says, totally agree about sewing B. It's not like it used to be, sadly. I don't think you'll ever top series one. No. <laughs> Well, I'm in biased. series one, <laughs> yeah. um, they really talked about how they, how you made the garments. They really did. Like how you do that pulling through of facings and everything. Absolutely. Leslie Joyce says, same here, but using canvas to make a dress was interesting. That was my favourite bit this week. Really? See, I have not Because they were so it. sculptural and it, ah. that was actually quite cool. Carmela says, I am a fan of the sewing bee, but I am un underwhelmed this year. I would never put a painted canvas through my sewing machine. True, it feels a bit like an art and design foundation degree at the moment, but I am watching in the hope it gets a bit more technical. I think it will by the mm. final, won't it? Okay, so we've got the cuff. We're yep. just going to fold that to make... Join into a loop. So in a loop, and then we're going to fold it over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's give that, that a quick pressed. press, I can please. do that for you. Thank you. And then what we're going to do now is sew some gathering stitches around the bottom of our sleeve. Okay. okay. It does say leave a six centimetre gap because you don't want your gather going all the way up to the edge. It'll be too difficult to then do. Pop up. There we go. Now I have to say, when I first started dressmaking, 
sleeves did panic me. Mm -hmm. And now, I love putting a sleeve in. Yeah. Especially with fabric like this, because it just, it's like manipulation. Totally agree. Okay, so what we now need to do, let's put these two pieces together to show everyone. We need to gather this to get into that size. Gotcha. Okay. Now, this fabric does gather up so beautifully mm. and there's no worry that you're going to get uneven gathers. Look, straight away. Yeah, Just lovely. push it along with your hands. And the solid um, viscose chalice will do the same, yeah. won't it? Even though it's a tiny bit heavier. Yeah, it's not like we're trying to gather huge thick denim or canvas or anything like that. So it no, really a painted is. artist canvas. Yes. Yeah. We're not doing that. I would just panic on those bits. Yeah. Um, well, I think back to the first series and, and Anne, who won the first series, you know, um, she was an expert dressmaker, mm. but she would have walked out the building if they'd really? even suggested, oh, I mean, absolutely. She thought some of the things we did were nonsense, oh. you know, and it was all quite sensible dressmaking. Yours was like adding a neckline to it a, was, a pre made neckline, dress. Yeah. Adding pockets, making a dress more fitted. Yeah. I think that's what I want to see. Yeah. So I, I apologise. Well, you tune into it. Sewing Street for that. Am I right? If you want to see how to actually properly sew an outfit or or learn technical skills, yeah. you tune into to Sewing Street. We have our wonderful experts who come on air and, and over a period of time, you learn all the different skills. You concentrate yeah. on different things, don't you? So someone was asking me at work yesterday, oh, what is Sewing Street? And I said, Yes, we sell products, but it's not a product selling show. We're no. here, we're showing techniques. Um, and I said, when I, when I demonstrate, I always want somebody to be able to record this, play it back when they're making the outfit mm -hmm. and then be able to sew it. Yeah, and am I right? So six seamstress does videos as yes, well. Yes, there's a QR code. Wonderful. So it tells us exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I'm an illustrator. Some people might want a, a video to watch mm. back. Okay, so all I'm doing now is popping the cuff onto the gather at the bottom. Okay. Great. Christine's got in touch to say, oh yes Adele, I agree. Not really showing what they can do. I feel they should do a charity shop challenge too. Forgive me for being controversial, but I feel it should be more like Drag Race, where they make yes. and wear their creations themselves. I agree. Yes, how good would that be? And I also, I love, like I'm, I'm a bit bored of everyone makes a day dress, yeah. everyone makes a... I'd prefer them to say, you know, like they do on Drag Race, where they say um, the, the challenge is a, a night of a thousand Madonnas. Yeah. So you get inspired by Madonna's looks over the years and you can do any of them. Yeah, like you could have a scenario, um, a day wedding or a nighttime wedding, yeah. a cocktail dress yeah. or a dress for the office. Yeah. Something like that would be really good, yes. Okay, there's our cuff on love okay. it love and it. now what we're going to do is ease this into isn't it gorgeous uh, in this fabric it looks gorgeous it's got about it? two minutes left Perfect. i'm afraid that's all we no can problem, let you have no problem this is going in now and you all have a sleeve mm -hmm. okay so what i do is match my underarm match my notches and then ease it in okay because you've done that bit of gathering at the top. Yep. So that's, so you pin your, that's why they were there, all those notches. Yep. Fried in the middle notch, just there. And then I'm going to ease that in. Makes sense then, now, doesn't it? Yep. Look, I'm going to get this. Don't you worry, Ben. <laughs> Ben's never worried. Ben looks at the schedule, sees your name, and he just takes a big sigh of relief. Well, it's been a while since I've been in. So we've had all Has the it? exams on, yeah. I suppose, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, in we go, and then we're done. Da, 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 da. This does feel a bit like sewing bee now. <laughs> yeah. You said two minutes. Patrick Powerful and Esme are just waiting Winkerman. out in the green room. They're going to come in and judge. Oh, gosh. Do you have someone to re-thread your machine if it goes wrong or anything? No, no. Really? No. And also, it was certainly a rule when I did it that 
you could have technical help once. Oh. Um, well, I mean, you could have it as many times as you wanted, but only once for the same thing. So, for example, if you didn't know how to thread an overlocker, somebody could come along and show you once. Oh but if gosh. later on in the series, you, you, they've got that marked down, they wouldn't show you again. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I need to be shown my overlocker every time. <laughs> You need an Elnet air threader. Yes, I've seen them. That's what you need. That's what I do need. That's what you need. Right. Here we go. Have we got a sleeve, Adele? Yep, we have a sleeve. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. All drama averted. You've literally just done a GCSE in needlework, live on air. You've got an A star, Adele. A grade nine now. Oh, sorry. I'm showing me age. <laughs> and there we go, look. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely. Even with a little uh, occasion with a, 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 a scene picture. Yes. Right. We'll get them. Done. Absolutely fab. Adele Rowland, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Right, you've less than an hour off. We've got to go to a little break. When we come back, bag making. I will see you in two. Hola. Thanks. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. All right, let's crack straight on with some great bag making items. We're going to start with. Oh, excuse me, with our magnetic buckle fastenings. We're going to start with the tan. Now, you surely have found these on the website. They have been absolutely flying out, going like hot cakes. This is the tan. I've just popped my borrow bag next to it because um, this is the one I used, the tan, for my borrow bag. Um, if you're making a wider bag, you probably want two. On a bag of this size, one's great. They're $4.99. They're real leather. Um, absolutely gorgeous. They have a magnet right here which you sew onto the bag and then they have the buckle part which sews onto the flap and you just use either a back stitch or um, a saddle stitch and um, the holes are all pre-punched so they're super easy. The price is amazing, $4.99. Um, how many of these have we got left? Nine left nine left 26 in baskets please please check out because we had not brilliant stocks of these i'll be honest with you but we had quite a lot and they have absolutely flown. you only have nine left they is absolutely flown there are eight left now seven left now um here we go here we go here we go again um yeah pop that cup of tea down and check out your basket on this because that's going to uh, be sold out in any minute now six left remember these are pure leather real leather um, holes are all punched there's five left now they have the um positive negative male female part already on them you just stitch that part to the bag that part to the flap there are two of these left i think i'll put that to one side and uh, we'll call that sold out right next up we've got black black now on the blue version of my borrow bag i used the black and that looked really really smart i haven't got it with me today but the black looked really smart against the uh, blue um this is again uh, real leather everything is all ready to go you're just literally gonna sew it on a um, couple of little tips for you when you're putting these onto your bag you you can't pin them in place and they're probably in a part of your bag that you can't clip in place either so the easiest thing to do is either use a couple of bits of double-sided sticky tape on the back and you can stick them on just a couple of small pieces you can use a bit of fabric glue that will also work i'll be honest with you i've um hot glue gunned them on before now just the tiniest little bit 
to hold it in place and then sew around. Make sure your glue's nowhere near the holes, obviously. Or the other thing you can do is use a bit of low tack masking tape. Um, get as much tackiness off it as you possibly could first, so it's very, very low tack, and then stick it on. Okay, and then stitch up to your, your tape and then peel your tape away and carry on just to hold them in place. But a little bit of glue on the back or a bit of double-sided tape is the easiest, very easy. Um, Fran said, could these fastenings be used on jackets? Um, I remember saying this once in a show and then I thought afterwards, well, I'm not sure you could really, because although I absolutely agree, Fran, I think that would be lovely across the front of a jacket, wouldn't it? Um, it's not a real buckle. It's not a real buckle, it's a, it's a snap fastening. And I'm not sure whether you would want that on the front of a jacket, because it could, I suppose, pop open. Could you dismantle it and sew it? Uh, all right, let me have a look and see. Yes, you could, yes, you could. Oh, Fran, I think we might have solved the problem. Right, so what you could do then is, You could remove this, so just undo the prongs, take this off, so take that part off, then sew this to, to this. Mm, actually, maybe what you would do, do you know what, maybe you would just sew over the top of that, because this will come apart. It does work as a real buckle, so you could sew that to one half, that to the other half, and then actually have it as a proper buckle. Yes, that would work. That would work. That would be the easiest thing to do. Look at you, Ben. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Now I need to think how to put it back together again. So four ninety nine, brilliant, brilliant value, aren't they? I still haven't done it right. Half the stock's gone of the black we had a big stock of the black because it, it'll go with almost anything but over half the stock has gone and the rest of it's in baskets um, that's the black one uh, now next up I've got the cherry red now I was teaching a workshop in Surrey hi to Thameside Quilters by the way last weekend this time last week I was with Thameside Quilters and they were making my very useful messenger bag and Colette was making the computer uh, size one, the 15 inch wide one, and uh, she was using a gorgeous grey wool that had like a bit of red, bit of pink, bit of blue in the weave of the check, but mostly grey. And she used two cherry red fastenings on the front of her bag and it looked absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, this is the cherry red love that and it's a nice deep red as well isn't it it is it well it's a deep red yeah oh yeah do you remember it used to get um like buckle shoes in that deep red for school mm, or cherry red docks yeah slightly different red those but yeah um cool lovely so that's the red and then we've got the dark brown. This is the one I want to stock up on, the dark brown, because I think that will go with an awful lot. Yeah, really nice with blues, really nice with neutrals as well. Um, I, before, when I did Bags for Life, I used the prim faux leather version of these. And um, they're lovely. I'm just going to grab the book, actually. They look lovely, but I remember they cost Eleven ninety nine a piece. Um, oh, oh, there it is. Eleven ninety nine. They're faux leather, not real leather. And um, when you need two, that can end up being rather expensive, can't it? And I'll just show you the bag I'm talking about. So this one here. So this is my overnight attaché, which uses two of these buckles on it. And I use the prim ones, but I mean the buckles for that bag cost £26. £24. £24 for the buckles, which is rather a lot really. 
Whereas using these, these are real leather and that would cost under £10 to do this. So, I mean, they are fantastic value. They look really smart. They are beautiful quality, beautiful quality. And they just elevate a bag way beyond its starting point. See, with this one, this is the, um, the blue and taupe version of my borrow bag but that dark brown fastening would also look absolutely fabulous on that bag so the the dark brown will go with a lot it's very versatile very versatile indeed um how are we doing stock wise oh gosh already more than 30 of those have sold just while we've been on air well done if you've managed to get yours um, the tan has sold out now. Tan sold out. The black, less than 20 of the black left. The red, okay, with 30 of the red. 30 of the red. And then the dark brown, we started with the most of that. How many have we got there? I want to know if we've got, I, I want to get about six or eight of these. Okay, we've got 50 of those left. That's fine. That's fine. They'll sell out, but I, there might be time for me to get them. <laughs> this is the thing I always miss out. I always miss out. <laughs> I've got to, I can't do bag making without talking about Quilter's Calico, by the way, just because it's back in stock. Um, absolutely brilliant to use as an interlining or a lining for bags. It's back in stock, 60 inches wide, pre-shrunk, perfect for bag linings, perfect as well to use as an interlining. So if you haven't got any interfacing, you can use 505, spray the back of your fabric, add a layer of calico to your fabric. By the time you've stitched your bag together, and sewing up your seams, this will be attached. Think of this as a sewing interfacing. It helps to beef up fabrics. Bex has got in touch. Morning, Stuart and team. I enjoy making bags and the Bags for Life book is my go-to for bag patterns. Great book. Thank you very much, Bex. Really appreciate you saying that. Thank you. All right, now then, can we talk about, well, can I just quickly mention this? magnetic flap as well because I've not seen this before and I rather like it. Yes, this is a PU magnetic flap. So you're going to use this in much the same way as you would. I like that. I like that. So in the context of a bag, what you would do, you're going to sew this on, onto the outside so you could sew that say like there onto the flap of a bag and then you would sew this to the bag so there's your so it's almost like a little flap on a flap or if you didn't put the flap on at all on the bag and instead you could attach this and then you would have your fastening here instead on the bag so it's just a different idea and actually what would be really fun would be to design a bag around that flap wouldn't it yeah 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 oh let me just back seized up then oh. <laughs> I need to do some Pilates <laughs> now right can we do some PU Let's do some PU. All right, I've got four PUs here. Everybody loves our Sewing Street PU. It's so soft, supple, easy to sew. Let's start with good old basic black. Can't go wrong, ending one zero. Our PU is really soft and supple. It's 3.99. Can I just check, this is for a fat quarter. This is for a pre-cut fat quarter, $3.99. Just be aware of that when you're buying the, that. It's going to come as a pre-cut fat quarter. It's 28 inches wide and it's 19, 19 inches tall, okay? 
Now, just to put it into context, that fat quarter would be absolutely ample to make something like a small messenger bag out of, just out of a fat quarter, just the bag itself. If you want to do the strap as well, I'd just get two fat quarters. It cost you less than eight pounds. Um, the side, the way these have been cut, you're still getting a really nice big piece to cut uh, out of. Fran says, could this PU be used for a tool case, but in the form of a pen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, that would work really nicely. So that's black. We've got gold, again, a fat quarter, pre-cut fat quarter of gold PU. That would make a rather snazzy uh, tool case, wouldn't it? Very, very nice. So something like, you know, a zipped, just a zipped pouch. So, you know, a narrow, zipped pouch made in PU. You can quilt PU as well and it looks absolutely fab. It would great a great um, makeup bag. PU looks amazing when it's been quilted. You can put it over a little bit of something like H640 and quilt it. You can even quilt just the PU because it has got a thickness to it so it would have a a lightly quilted look and you'd see your stitching detail beautifully on that. Lots of that in baskets silver fat quarter PU. So again, look, this is the size of your fat quarter. So you're getting a really decent size piece of fabric there because our PU is about 60 inches wide, which means that your fat quarter is much, much bigger than a standard quilting fat quarter. 28, well, it's 54 wide. 56 wide, so 28 inches wide by about 19 inches, 19 and a half inches deep. So big, big old piece of fabric for 399. But of course, if you buy two of them, you'll get two separate fat quarters. But um, you know, you could easily make a larger bag because that is a decent sized bit of fabric there. Okay, and then last of all, I've got PU in wine, but this one is available by the half meter. So if you want to get this, if you want to get a meter of this, it will come as a continuous piece. Seven ninety nine for a half meter. Let's hold it up again just to show you what you get in half a meter. It is a big piece of fabric. It is a big piece of fabric, isn't it? And the colour's fabulous. It's um, really, really deep, almost like a very, very deep burgundy colour. It's called wine. And if you look, it's, it's not quite purple. It's got more red in it than that, but it's really, really dark. Yeah, almost a deep aubergine colour. I remember in the late 80s, early 90s, this was the most fashionable hair colour. Certainly when I was at school. Oh, all the girls and some of the boys were all dyeing their hair this colour. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. Beautiful, yeah, nice. Right, that's that. Now I've got some, oh, can I do the soft handles? Really like these, really like these. Just bought some of these actually. I've got brown and I've got black. Let's start brown. I'm gonna open this up so you can see what you're getting. So this is a pair of PU handles for 8 99 Now these will elevate the simplest of tote bags. Okay, so you've got two handles. So here's, here's your handle. I just want to check, because I'm going to be using these. Uh, I think this, does this go on the wrong side? That goes on the other side of your bag. 
So you have one on the front and one on the back and then you stitch them between them to attach them. I think, I think that's what you do. Yes, I didn't realise you got these as well, but I was thinking you would just sew those to the bag. But the holes are all pre-punched and you just use a saddle stitch or a back stitch to attach them. But they really will elevate even the simplest of bags. Um, lengthwise, just to give you an idea, they're 51 centimetres, which in old money is 19 inches. So from end to end, 19 inches. Yeah, fab, love those. I've done a few tote bags where I've put in our form inside the tote bag. So they're quite structured and then sewn these handles on and they just look the business. They really, really do. I made a bag for uh, Deputy Joan out of one of my fabric ranges, Indigo Elements, with a um, navy blue version of this. And um, yeah, she really likes the bag. Uses it a lot, I believe. So that's in the brown. We've also got that same handle set in black. Um, so we'll put the details up for the black. We've only got 17 left of the black. They've been flying out those. They're great though, aren't they? Because these little, these little accessories make a world of difference, an absolute world of difference to a finished bag. So that's in the black. Grab those before they sell out. Now, another thing, this is gonna, another little top tip of mine. So this is, um, this is, is this leather or PU? This is a PU, is this Lisa Lamb? Oh, nice. Love that. So um, this one, let me just grab. Yeah, dark brown. I'm just going to grab my borrow bag. So at the moment, it's got a shoulder strap on it, but the strap is detachable. So I'm going to take that off. Um, and this. Oh, those last handles we ju I just showed you. Teresa messaged to say, I use those handles on my strippity doodah bag. Nice, I like it. Right, so now look, we've turned the over the shoulder bag into a bag that you can carry by your side. Really like that. So that's the kind of handle that you can just pop inside your bag and then if you want to change how you're wearing it, or of course it will just go over your shoulder like that as well. Very nice, for $7.99, that's brilliant. There's one left. I want it, I want it. Why do I only find out about these things when I'm on air? That's my fault, isn't it? Absolutely fab, right, let me put these handles back on. See, I knew there was a reason why I made these handles detachable. Oh, actually, while I'm there, I'm gonna grab the other Lisa Lamb straps. So I've got a twin pack of um, replacement shoulder straps. Now, last week, while I was teaching my workshop, um, one of the ladies disappeared. Alison disappeared for about 15 minutes. And when she came back, she said, look what I've got. And she'd been down the road to a dress shop and she had bought, yeah, and she'd bought a replacement shoulder strap that she was going to use on her bag, rather than make a shoulder strap. And Lisa Lambs produced these two. You get both in the pack. So you get this one. How cool is that? So that's your zebra. You get that. And lovely metalware as well, as one would expect from Lisa. And then you also get like an African um, fabric print. They are a really like heavy duty, uh, not a twill, what would you call it? Webbing, a heavy duty webbing. Um, this perhaps wouldn't suit this bag per se, but just to show you, a bit of all right isn't it love that Fuck. 
and then really make a feature of your shoulder straps love those love them you get both for 24.99 about 12.50, 12.60, something like that per strap. 12.49, yeah. Yeah, I think Alison paid about 15, 16 pound for hers, but that was for one. So great value. And of course, um, she said to me, look, I'll make the shoulder strap as well, but I'll be able to mix and match it so I can change it up sometimes, which I thought was a lovely idea. Right then, um, let's do a little bit of metalware. Now I've been showing you changeable shoulder straps and in order to do that you need two things. You need lobster clasps and you need D-rings which I've got right here. Let's start with the swivel clips. Lobster clasp, swivel clip, same thing really. Um, so that's the kind of thing that's on the end of this shoulder strap right here. So you can see how you make them. You literally just make your strap and then you can either use these um, grommets uh, or you can sew them on as well but um, have one at either end. So you've got your swivel clip. This is for a 25 millimeter wide strap, 199, 199 for that. And that is one inch wide, one inch wide. So really nice for a shoulder strap. If you've bought anything else today, you've already paid your postage, I'd grab a few of those. Um, just comes in the one color, that bronze. Okay, um, and then when you put it onto a bag, if you're putting a swivel clip or a lobster clasp onto a, um, a bag, you need it then to go through a D-ring. And here's the reason why. Um, on a D-ring, because you've got that rounded edge, that sits at the top, the flat edge sits inside the strap. When you put a swivel clasp on, however you hold the bag, however it hangs, it will always find the centre and hang nicely on your bag. Now what you don't want to use D-rings for is when you're using a strap and then you're putting another strap into that because all that's going to happen with a strap if it goes into a D-ring is it will end up bunching up. Um, so, so if you use a D-ring you use it with a swivel clip. All right so we've got swivel clips on the hour. Let's do the larger ones first ending two three. So this is a pack of two. These are a one inch wide aperture and you get two. You get two, they're gold. 199 for those. Um, yeah, I always, always multi-buy when I find good bag hardware because it, although it's the same basic stuff that we use time and time again, it's really hard to find and really hard to get decent stocks of it. So if I see it and I like it, I buy lots of it. Yeah, well, you but you use the same ones over and over again. So, <laughs> right. Silver, ending 9.5. Oh, it's sold out. The silver sold out. Okay, thank you. Um, next up, I've got the Hemline D-rings. These are 20 mil. You get four of them. We'll start with gold, that ends 7.4. So this is 20 mil, uh, which is just about three quarters of an inch three quarters of an inch. Now, don't forget, if you want to use these, but you want your strap to be wider, you can still use these. So what you would want to do in an ideal world, your strap comes down, maybe it's one inch wide, your strap comes down and then you taper it in to three quarters of an inch and then back out 
to one inch and then when you fold that in half and the thinner end goes through your ring attachment so that will fit flat because it's three quarters of an inch wide and then it comes back out to the one inch wide which is what you want for your shoulder strap do you know what I mean so you can do that with the smaller rings um, all right but perfect for using with the swivel clips because they'll clip on to any size and then silver ending 01 mm -hmm. four of those they've called it nickel silver colored yeah yep again 199 for four okay well let's go cotton canvas cotton canvas because this is perfect for bag making and I'm going to grab all of the solids I don't think I've ever done a show where we've had all of our cotton solids available just want to show you yeah just want to show you the colors that we've got well we have lots of lovely patterned fabrics but um, it's really nice for bag making to use these cotton solids particularly maybe for like the base of a bag the bottom few inches and then you can use maybe your quilt weight cotton above that use a bit of interfacing on the back just to bring the the uh, strength up but these are perfect for bag making let's do them in order we'll start with red ending 7-4 so this is a proper lovely bright cherry red beautiful that isn't it what's the width on this I'll check 28 so 56 inches wide 56 inches wide so great value this is also really really nice for something like table runners or placemats where you just want something plain and simple hard wearing as well gorgeous 449 and a half meter next up super price that absolutely super ending one eight i want to call this wasabi or ochre yeah oak is nice that's a lovely color that's a really nice color oh fans had a good idea for using the um straps you know the the lisa lamb straps uh, make a quillo and use these funky trap uh, straps to wrap and transport them over your shoulder clip on what a great idea mm. a quillo kind of wraps up into a pillow doesn't it or a picnic blanket that would be really nice 490 449 rather for half a meter in ochre lovely very arty uh ending eight three this is your favorite color ben is this teal yeah gorgeous gorgeous i'm just thinking about some of those lovely velvets that we had on the show earlier on yeah mixing the cotton canvas with the velvet so you've got a bit of plain and a bit of highly patterned together beautiful this is cut to order by the way so um however much you need you'll get in a continuous length this cotton canvas would be perfect for making some nice big slab cushions to go on your garden furniture as well hard wearing uh, this one n75 it's like a powder blue what color do we call that sky blue <clears throat> beautiful lovely and fresh that isn't it nice clean sky blue next up ends eight two that one's almost like an air force isn't it air force blue delph very nice delph i've been to delph it's a place in Holland. Delft tiles, blue and white tiles. Very nice. Uh, <clears throat> right, next up, I've got navy blue. This ends one three. Can't go wrong with navy, am I right? Navy, white, black. Super easy to use. 
Now if you're making those big slab cushions for in the garden you will ideally want to have them removable for laundering and you'll probably need to make the inserts for those cushions yourself because they're often odd sizes and shapes. This is another time when our pre-shrunk quilters calico is perfect because you can make your own cushion pads. Make them any size, any shape. So if you want to make circular cushions, make your inner from quilters calico stuff them using either our toy stuffing or if you've got other cushion pads that you no longer need cut them up recycle them okay close that up so that becomes a sort of fixed unit and then make your outer removable with a, a zip something like that uh, and that will work beautifully 279 a half meter for your quilters calico right that's our navy uh, black next ending 08 Oh, Eliza's got in touch to say, Salut, salut, Eliza. Comment ça va? <laughs> there we go. Good basic black. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. You could also use this cotton canvas to create a windbreak to take to the beach. It's also a really good hard wearing fabric for things like um, upholstery, curtains, blinds. Ending three zero. Now I have a few different greys and I'm just gonna show you all of the greys together. This is charcoal. I'm just going to show you the next couple because finding the right grey, look at the difference between these two. This is a very warm grey, this is a cool grey, but then this, coolest of all. So with greys, this is quite a, a blue grey and this is very much a white based grey. So we'll start with this warm charcoal. 449 and a half metre. Next, ending one seven. Pewter, pewter. Oh, I've got um, some nice pewter actually. Royal Ceylon. Mm. Charlie buys it for me when he's in Hong Kong. Very nice. And they do the most beautiful tea caddies and they are so beautifully made they have like almost like um the little lid it's to seal the tea in and make it airtight and you literally sit it on top and it's so finely fitted and finely milled that you sit it on top and then it sinks down into it into the yeah oh they're beautiful they're beautiful that's pewter that's pewter and then uh zero four Silver, silver, silver rolls and golden needles. Burr, 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 burr. Do you know that song? It's Dolly Parton and I think it's Tammy Wynette and someone else. Silver threads and golden needles cannot mend this heart of mine. I know, I know. All the best country songs are about heartache though, aren't they? I think so. Right, we've got a few handles I want to show you. This one is ending 4-1. So this is a little bamboo handle. 2 .99. Now for most purposes you're going to need a pair of these. So to use this, what you would do, let me just grab a little bit of fabric. So you would want to create, you'd have like a, a rectangle, so lined rectangle like this, that you would then pass through the handle like that. And then this would be sewn into your bag. Yeah. So your bag then would sit over it like that probably wider yeah 
there's your there's your little bag like that so you'd have that on both sides so you would just have that out of the way while you sew the bag up of course and then so things like knitting bags beach bags shopping bags if you like a handle yeah they're really really easy to use they don't come with any instructions so it's nice I'm glad you asked Ben how do you use them because they are really easy to use but they're easy to overlook as well and they can add a yeah yeah they're easy to use when you know how um, and then this one here this ends seven six this is nice this is bamboo but it's kind of a bit bigger and chunkier a bit of a chunky handle so just to show you in context there's the difference in size so a bit sort of smaller and more delicate this one's a little bit more chunky and robust but yeah exactly the same or what you could do with this is you could put um, a couple of bits, I'm just going to mock it up so you can see, you could put a couple of bits of webbing through like that, yeah, and then you would have your bag again over the top like that, so your, your bag would be attached like that, you see, you can do that with them, yeah, that looks nice as well. Okay. Uh, those are our handles. Just need to mention my talk back is making horrible, really hard crackling noises right in my ear. So I'm going to have to take it out in a minute. Um, right, I'm going to grab some webbing. I just showed you that webbing. I'll take it off for you. Hang on. Uh, right, so this is our webbing. Now we've got it in black. We've got it in black and white. Uh, we'll start with, should we start with white? Let's start with our white one. Um, now this webbing, it's 69 pence per, is that for a half a metre? Yeah, and it's cut to order, so it'll be cut in a continuous length. Sorry, just turning this on. No. Oh, there we go. Can you speak? No, nothing. Sorry. Okay, I'll have to work without this for now. We'll just carry on and then we'll change it over at break time. All right, so I've got flying, flying solo now, folks. So this is white webbing. So this is cotton webbing. So it's got that lovely, nice... Oh, it's sold out. That's sold out. Thank you. Did you hear a cat shouting then? Sold out. Right, we've got black. We've got black cotton webbing. So again, 25 mil, so one inch wide. You get half a metre for 69p. So half a metre will make one short handle. So one metre would do your two handles um, very nicely. It is cut to order. So if you order, thank you, if you order... Uh, three units you'll get one and a half meters in one continuous length I actually really like using this to attach things like rectangular rings on projects rather than doing them in fabric it's very very strong and robust very strong and robust and uh, no that's going to work really well no snap, no crackle, no pop. Working perfectly, thank you. I'm saying that. Try speaking. Oh, I've just pulled the plug out. Oh, sorry, everyone. This is awful. There we go. I'm back in. Right, okay. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, there we go. We've got the black still available. I've got some cotton canvas in white and cream. I missed this out. Um, right, cream first of all, ending 1.8. So this is about 58 inches wide. A good, it's got quite almost um, a seeded natural or a calico look to it, but it is a cotton canvas. Um, but it's got a lovely, nice sort of natural look to it. Just gorgeous. Very nice. And then we've got white. 
We've called it ivory because it is actually an ivory. It's not quite a white. It's got a very, very slight hint there. Um, Teresa's just messaged to say, me again, I use those bamboo handles on the Sally Ann Harrison Japanese bag. Very nice too. Sue says, I'm absolutely fine, but I had to share. I was just carrying the vacuum cleaner downstairs. Oh, I know where this is going. And slid to the bottom on my behind. I ended up looking like that flying squirrel on Facebook. Um, with the cleaner flat across my chest. Where's the camera when you need it? Oh my lovely, you need to sit down a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. Doctor's orders. Uh, go grab it during the break and I'll see you after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Did you get that cup of tea? Did you get that chocolate biscuit? Let's crack on. We've got Adele Rowland back, everybody. Just making <laughs> super emo. I just dropped my pattern. <laughs> flying, <things. laughs> flying dressmaking pattern. Adele, welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> now this hour is all about the wildwood wrap dress. We've got an example here. I'm just going to show you the two patterns. I say two patterns because you need to pick your size, um, and these are American uh, dress sizes. So they start at a double zero and go up to a 22. Is that right, a double zero or just a zero? So it does zero. go from a double zero. Double so zero. So shall I give the inches? Yes, because please. Because that will probably help, won't it? So yes, a double please. zero is a 31 inch bust, 23 inch waist and 34 inch hip. Mm -hmm. Going up to 22, which is a 49 inch bust, 41 and a half inch waist and a 52 inch hip. Fab, thank you. And obviously, with the American sizes, their 22 is our 24. Yes, yeah, so I measured myself mm -hmm. and I have cut a size 8. Mm -hmm. So that is a 30 inch bust, 28 inch waist, but I was slightly off on the waist. I was bigger, but with it being a wrap, I went with that. Mm -hmm. And then 39 inch hip. Um, I'm around a 10, 12. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's slightly just below what they would normally be. Perfect. In thank you. Thank you. So there are two options, the, either the double zero to 22 or the 16 to the 34. Let's start with the double zero to 22. Isn't this a beautiful dress? We both commented on the colour of the fabric as well. Oh, we? how gorgeous it looks in a plane. Yeah, 
this. I mean, I, uh, you know, a pattern fabric, it goes without saying, yeah. but that looks gorgeous it in a plane. It just looks like a classic dressing. You've got a blue today, haven't you? We have, actually. And it's like you can replicate that beautiful Look, plane. We've got this bundle. It is beautiful. Yeah, it and is gorgeous. And it shows gorgeous. off the structure of the dress so well mm. when it's plain. It does. It does. It's really lovely. Um, so this is our zero to 22. It's 18.99 for the pattern. And um, it comes with a separate belt. And you've also got a shorter version, a longer version. And you've got, would you call that a sleeveless and a cap sleeve? Or is there a very yes. slight sleeve on the one? So the, what what the difference is is um this is the shorter sleeve you cut mm -hmm. the longer sleeve it's not an added piece it's an extra sort of ah, add-on i see so it's a very slight sleeve yeah or a short sleeve yeah lovely thanks for clearing that up two different lengths as well plus there are instructional videos that you can watch to go along with the pattern it really is an absolute classic love the style of that 18.99 and then the other sizes, the other pattern is for sizes American 16, which would be like a UK 14. No. 16, a UK 18, 18. A UK 18 to a 34, so a UK 36. So those are the, um, those sizes, 18.99 for that. Okay, so pick your pattern wisely. If you're, let's say you are a size 16 or 18, you are covered on both patterns, Adele. Yes. Which one would you go for, the smaller range or the larger range? So if you are between, I would go for the larger. It's easier to take in than to add. Yeah. Those details on screen. Thanks, Adele. No problem. I was thinking the same, but I want to ask the expert. <laughs> right, while we're talking about fabric bundles, let's have a look what we've got. Should we start with that gorgeous blue? Now, this is a bundle of five meters. This will make up to the size 34. This is the largest size, the longest length. Um, four bundles left, are you kidding me? Wow, we've got seven in baskets, we've only got four left. We have got some other really lovely colours, by the way. 58.99. This is beautiful fabric. What, what is this fabric? Linen denim. So I think the denim is the The weave, denim's the colour, it? yeah. yeah. Oh, it's 100% linen. Oh, it's not creasy though, look. No. It's no. not creasy. So this is another fabulous outfit to have in your wardrobe for the summer. But yes. If you want to go away for the weekend, you can roll it up, pack it, get there, unroll. Ready oh, to I love that. Fly to Australia, unpack it, put it on, look fabulous. I haven't even told you where I'm going for my 40th, have I? Go on! <laughs> Get it to... over with. I'm off to New York. Oh, stop! <laughs> Good. Have you been before? Uh, when I was seven. So very, very different. You'll see a very time. different New York. That's what I thought. <laughs> Be quick on this blue bundle, won't you? There are three left. This is that gorgeous mid-toned denim. It's kind of got a washed look. Well, it is stonewashed. It's got that stonewashed, mm. lovely kind of subtle vintagey look to the fabric. It's super soft. It's a relaxed colour, isn't it? It's not in your face blue. It's a nice, relaxed. A bit like your green. It's not in my face. Right. It's a nice, relaxed it's green. A soft, subtle. Yeah. Beautiful. There's two of these bundles left. That's about to sell out. Gorgeous blue. Goes with anything, doesn't it? Any skin yes. tone. It goes with, you can team it with black, brown, tan, white, another colour. Just gorgeous. Anything you can wear blue jeans with, basically. Very, very nice. Now, let's do the stone colour, because this is my personal... Well, I say this is my personal favourite. It's probably the one I would go for because it's so holiday. It's kind of on safari. Mm. Would fit with any accessory, any bag, any it shoes. Would. Although I'm thinking sort of that lovely warm tan mm. leather sandal belts i've got some nice leather sandals brown. beautiful isn't it yeah absolutely yeah, that's gorgeous because the, the belt is actually separate right so if you did want the cotton belt you could but if you took the belt off stuart and yep. then 
you could get an another like leather belt yeah. and put around this. So I'm thinking, so this is and the belt. And that could be a head tie. Oh, like a sort of a uh, round the head. Yes. Oh, I like that. Love that idea. So love the belt, kind of wider and then goes narrow. Yes. Gosh, you'd make that again and again, wouldn't you actually? Yeah. Just as a belt, it's rather lovely that. Um, Nice bit of styling tips there from Adele Rowland, everybody. <laughs> uh, love that. So, Would this you like is... me to sort her out? Oh, yes, please. Thank you, Adele. I've got, I've got a clue, have I? I don't know how to dress a woman and I certainly don't know how to undress one. Uh, $54.99 for the linen cream colour. I would call this stone limestone. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really stunning, that. Um, how are we doing stock-wise? Okay, it's going the same way as the blue. Thanks, Adele. You're a star. Now, yes, I was unsure about whether the stone or this red was my favourite, because I do love a bit of red. And this is on the pattern envelope for the large size. Oh, yes. For the curvy. I mean, looks absolutely stunning. Mm. Um, as a dress. Lady in red. It's dancing with me. Cheek to cheek. Oh, beautiful. And I love the stone washed effect as well. Mm. It just, red's a vibrant colour, but the stone washing just makes it that little bit more subtle. Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, again, same price, $58.99 for a five metre bundle. This is a whopping great piece of fabric here. There are only six of these left. So these bundles are all going to sell out. It's just a question of whether you're going to get yours before they sell out. Um, so those are our planes, our solids, our stone washed. We've got some gorgeous florals now. We'll start with this one. Now this is the one that the dress has been made out of, which is just a gorgeous, cool, chic, um, light silvery grey background then with these gorgeous florals with that little tinge of blue and a, a really kind of almost um like etched design in black it's been out of stock for ages we've just got it back in really affordable too this what bundle oh, 44.99 yes. again you're still getting five meters of this five meters for 44.99 it's a nice like, like linen, meter. isn't it? But it doesn't crease. No. Again. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, look here. This is 100% linen, and I'm really scrunching that. And look, not a crease. Not a crease. That's fabulous. Love that. Great for travelling. Great for travelling, especially if you're going on a little weekend getaway and all you're taking is a little travel on bag. Yes. You can roll it up. Pop it in. Yes, when you only have your sort of on flight, on yeah. um, in cabin. Yeah. Four of these bundles left, that's it. Four of these left. Now that's on a grey background. The next one I'm going to show you. I'm. This is the one I would go for. And I'll tell you why. Because I love that little bit of tan in the background. Mm. Because I love tan and brown accessories. So I'm just thinking that instantly makes me want to put more of the tan, the brown accessories with it. Um, and actually, I'm thinking as well, this is a wrap dress and it's got a really nice bodice. But I'm just thinking, if you don't like a deep mm. V or you like to add just a little extra pop of colour, a little t-shirt, a little camisole, yeah, yeah, in that sort of light tan colour underneath with this would be gorgeous. Yeah. I always wear a little vest top with um, a wrap dress because I get a bit conscious and like you say, if you just took the background colour mm. and put it on, mm. it would look lovely. Yeah, beautiful. I think that's gorgeous, love that. And again, amazing value. It's less than nine pounds a metre. 44.99 for a five metre slab of 100% linen. Mm. You wouldn't buy a linen dress that cheap, would you? No, no, no way. No way. And also as well, if you're making any of the smaller sizes, you are going to have some leftovers. Mm. Um, and as Adele was saying earlier on, you can make a shell top, a vest top. A pair of shorts. A pair of shorts would be amazing. A pair of shorts would be amazing. Yeah. Longer length, shorter length? 
I quite like sort of mid thigh Lovely. with elasticated mm. waist. Mm. I've got a pair of dark blue ones and I just literally put them on with everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I lived in shorts for the entire year. Did you? Did Different we have nicer weather, weather then? We did. We <laughs> did. Uh, ending 83. This is pretty. This is our prettiest, I think. Again, I love the fact that all of the prints we've chosen for this hour have a lovely kind of coolness mm. and a lightness to them because this is very much summer wear. And so the prints are reflecting the fabric as well. It's soft, it's light, it's cool to wear. And the designs are just gentle as well, aren't they? Yeah, well, it's, it's a very classically designed dress, isn't mm. it? It's not a flouncy dress. So no. you want a print to complement that. Well, would you mind, Adele, at this point, yeah. just coming over into the middle and just giving us a bit of a tour? Yes, absolutely. Because there's loads of beautiful aspects of this dress good so yeah. what you don't notice is the small details when you first see this mm -hmm. that you've got a very small pleat here on the shoulder can you see that I one can. on that side yes so when you look from afar it looks like just a solid piece but there's a lovely bit of shape in there and then if we undo her belt again there's some shaping down here as well so you see again two little pleats here oh, yes so it just creates this fullness across the bust without having a dart disrupting mm -hmm. the shape. Um, and then the collar, if you look, you can have it standing up oh, like that. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, have it standing up around yeah. the neck or you can have it just folded back over. Um, and then as we open, what I want to show you, look, look at the skirt, it's a straight line mm. skirt, mm. but there is enough coverage Okay. Oh gosh, Because yes, you've got is. a lovely little tie here mm -hmm. and there is a gap here. Now this is a really clever design because this isn't going to drag over the other side of the bust. Mm -hmm. It's going to sit between your bust. Mm -hmm. So I've got a couple of wrap dresses that because this tie here goes all the way over mm -hmm. here, it chops my other bust in half. <sighs> Um, so I kind of have to, when I put it on, I have to have a bit of a wiggle. Yep. This one sits perfectly on that breastbone going between the breasts and then sitting nice and comfortable mm. there. Mm. And like we said again, you put a button there, then it also suggests, if you're a bit worried about this, whoop, flap yep. it open, it actually suggests put a little hook and eye there. Well, that's a nice idea, yeah. You so could do you that, can still you? walk, you won't see it on the outside. And it's also and got pockets. pockets. Look at it there. Oh, look yes. Look at the hand right Ooh. down. There, look. What do I say? It's so deep. Never done that before. You'd be able to put your phone and everything in it, look. Yeah, you I've got could. My phone. That's look, awesome. Look, my phone's in it. Yeah. Not poking out. A good sized pocket. And then, if you wanted to more relax fit, you mm -hmm. could actually leave it like this. Mm -hmm. Let's sort a little hip out. Mm -hmm. Or if you want that cinched in look, you've yes. got this belt. And then tie it round. And me and Kat were talking earlier. How would you do this? So you could tie it at the front and have it as a bow. Mm -hmm. But I quite like having a tie on the side. That does mean that these are a different length. But I think it adds a little bit more. To yeah, it. I like that. So well, it's almost like that. an OB yes. belt, isn't it? Really yeah. like that. And I can imagine that being really nice and comfortable there mm. across the tummy to wear. Agreed. And then this is the shorter sleeve, like mm -hmm. I'm going to make, but the other one is slightly longer and then you just have a little bit of a turn up. I think that's really pretty. So this is your shortest sleeve option. And then you've got a second option, which is round about here, isn't it? Yes, just slightly longer. So if you like to cover up your arms to mm. where, basically where mine are sitting. Yes, almost where a t-shirt sits, whereas yeah. this is almost like a cap sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. sitting just at the upper of your shoulder gorgeous your love it would okay. you show me some parts yeah of we're going to concentrate on the pleats here and then how we get this all together be fabulous yep. thank you come on over come on over so i've already done one side just so that we can see what it's meant to look like now if you are doing a um a plain fabric like this have some way of marking right side to wrong side. So I've just put a little pin on the wrong side. So I know mm. that I'm always going to be using the, right, the same side for each one. Mm -hmm. And that will also stop me from making two of the same 
size. Uh, I like that. Okay. So we have the front part here. It does talk about uh, finishing this edge, just a, a zigzag or an overlocker. And then you fold that over. And then what we're going to do is just sew down here. Okay. okay? Um, now, this would be an opportunity that if you want to, you could add a little bit of top stitching, different color threads. Oh, nice, but, yeah, um, like that. What I would do, you know, with the pattern one, mm -hmm. like this one's made out of, yeah. have a nice gray threads Ooh, lovely. on top. I think that would look really nice. That'd this one's beautiful. got as close as I can. It's a little bit darker, but then that helps show it up on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Then I'll show you what the end pleats look like and then we'll see how the pattern translates. Okay, so again, you've got a pleat at the very, very top here and then you've got two pleats here. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what they look like on the actual pattern piece. Okay, so this is the pattern uh, for the top, uh, for the front, sorry. You've got two dots here and two notches so the notches are where they're going to meet and the dot is the point that you sew to and then at the bottom you actually have the same size up mm -hmm. no matter what size you are okay. and it tells you it tells you exactly where to fold perfect okay. that makes it easy i wondered why it had a crinkly bottom yeah so that's let me show you where the crinkle disappears once you've got Oh gosh, yeah, look so at that. So it completely disappears clever. when you've got this Very all clever. together. So I'm just going to have that there. I noticed the pleats on the garment and I thought what a lovely addition yeah. it was. Um, I want to, I'm really toying, pleats, gathers, pleats, gathers. With a fabric like this, I wouldn't want to gather it. No. Because it would just add too much bulk. Mm. Where with the previous dress like this, gathers look really beautiful yes, yes. i think pleats would be lost in that mm. whereas a more substantial fabric let's get a pleat in yeah, there to make yeah. it look really beautiful yeah it's more substantial but it's still lovely and cool and light to wear isn't it absolutely now what's good again is lots of illustrations look like how those. many so i don't want you to be alarmed that there's 29 pages mm -hmm, in this mm -hmm. instruction book it's a good thing that doesn't mean that there's a lot to do mm -hmm. it just means it's literally taking you through every step of the way just need to okay. let you know at home if you want the double zero to size 22 pattern we've got four left it's been incredibly popular okay so the first thing i need to do is i want to make sure that i've got a mirror image of the the one i've already done and i'm yep. not making the same so i'm going to fold over this edge press that mm -hmm. okay it's a one centimeter seam there and then we're going to top stitch that down and then make the pleats mm -hmm. there we go now this linen because it doesn't crease you do need to really give it a nice press right okay with the iron yeah it's not like those oh do you know what i think everyone had them when i was younger a pair of linen white trousers from top shop oh yes um i took them everywhere looking back if i found all my photos when i'm 20 i'm in them all mm -hmm. the time but, with the tie yeah waist. but they creased all the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think we've come on a long way haven't we these aren't creasing like we those. Have. It's true. Although I was looking at a pair of those exact trousers yesterday well, in Next. Mm. All come back. Still got them. So my daughter, some of the things she wears now are the same as what I used to wear. And it's like, oh, it's fashion mm. first time round. No, darling. Are your daughters like mini versions of you? Um, well, not so mini, but you know what I mean. So it's, it's really beautiful, actually, that both of my girls have a completely different personality and they have, we, me and my husband were saying this just the other day, they're both a great mixture of us. Both. Oh, nice. So Evelyn, my eldest, yeah, <laughs> Evelyn, my eldest looks like me, but she's got her dad's skin tone and um, she's sporty just like dad. Whereas Isabel looks like her dad, got my paler skin tone and is very crafty. Oh, so fabulous. it's like, everybody's happy yeah it's like you've just got both of us mixed them and oh, got the best both both times awesome. 
Okay, so I've also got lots of little notches that mm -hmm. we're going to join together. Can I just look yeah, at that sure. to make sure that I know which one goes with which? Mm -hmm. Pattern sold out now in this double zero to 22. Let's give you the details for the 16 to 34. Yep. Now remember that this is US 16. So this equates to a UK 14 to size 34. Yeah. So if you're anything from a 14 to a 34, you can get this pattern. It will work brilliantly for you. And Adele was saying earlier on, if you're somewhere between the two, go for this larger sized pattern because it's much, much easier to take the pattern in. Yes, absolutely easier to take the pattern in rather than take the pattern out. Mm. Um, because let's have a look. So there is now one centimeter seam allowance and a 1.6 at certain points so there's lots of room there that you can play with but it's easier to take it in than mm -hmm. to try and get almost half a centimeter seam absolutely okay so please don't i would rather you have an easier time fitting mm. Then to struggle mm -hmm. okay so to make these pleats what we do is just put the notches together and then we're going to sew a straight line of stitching gotcha not straight like up. a dart yep uh, not like a dart we're not going to make a, a a triangle we're just making a line gotcha understood don't, and don't forget to double or uh, back stitch or um, use your what's that one called the locking little, stitch the locking stitch because in the past I have just left them and then you Pleats just start opening. They start drifting, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've done the two pleats at the bottom. I'm now going to do the same at the pleats at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just two notches together and then a straight line of stitching. That gives really lovely tailored pleats, doesn't it? Mm. If you think pleats is almost like, you know, big bunchy gathers, not at all. This is really tailored and smart looking. Yeah just gives a little extra fullness doesn't it yeah fullness but doesn't create a, a bus start that would disrupt mm. a pattern so mm. i just now need to right now it says to us to iron it towards the sleeve and that's mm -hmm. another very important part okay because you want that shaping to come in not go out mm -hmm. all right and make sure that you've done it on both sides that you have ironed them out together so they're going okay. to be symmetrical yeah and as you do this you start to see look you've got this fullness mm. here now mm. okay so that's what accommodates the bust that's yes. what gives it the fullness that's understood. what gives the fullness of the bust mm -hmm. now what we're going to do is we are going to start making oh let me get rid of that now now we're finished with that <laughs> determined to get it on the floor <laughs> it's been on the floor once already yes. Stuart yes. so we're going to make a collar and facing and when I first looked at this pattern I was like when I was cutting I was like oh where's the collar then I looked and I was like, ah, the collar is all inbuilt in the bodice. I wondered what that was for. Mm. Interesting. So what we're going to do is we've got this little extra bit up here. That's going to be sewn. Then we're going to open it up and then fold it to make the facing. Just pull this down so you can yes. have a look at how. There's this bit. I was looking from over the other side thinking, what is this? But this is the collar. Yes, this is the collar and the facing as well. Amazing. Right. So match those up. Okay together and then we're going to sew along here mm -hmm. okay and that one is a 1.6 or a 5.8 and what's this um linen like to sew oh really easy dead easy yep i've sewn with this a few times made quite a few different outfits and never had a problem with it it's not too much of a loose weave that it unravels no um you will still need to finish your seams mm -hmm. because it is a natural weave it will start to fray mm. but i've dealt with linens before as soon as you cut it it literally is just yeah, disintegrating sure. so that isn't an issue with this mm. um and it's a nice weight but it breathes it's oh. lovely i made a pair of dungarees once with this Ooh. I that yeah there. of course and um 
That was really nice. Mm, gorgeous. I'm just thinking if you've got So Girls, St. Ives top pattern. Yep. That's like an artist's almost smock. That yes. would be gorgeous made in this linen. Yep. I was on last time with a pattern called the Burnside Bibs with mm -hmm. the same company, right. So House 7. And they um, would look fabulous yeah. in this. Yeah. Okay. Right. What we now need to do is we are going to fold. Okay, do you see here? Yep. I'm going to put it on two. Let me double check. I'm double checking everything now. Absolutely. Now that I have that mistake. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to fold it at that point there. Okay. And what that creates is our facing. Understood. Okay. Going along. That then goes all the way across to you can see it there's a point mm -hmm, there that mm -hmm. we fold along that point okay cool this is also shown on the pattern mm. so if you want to you can also transfer that with um a, a, a chalk pen mm -hmm, draw mm -hmm. that across but again do you have to be quite vigorous lovely, with the pressing yeah you've got to give it a lovely press i'm just going to turn it up just slightly because mm -hmm. i really want this to be nice and crisp okay Double checking all of my instructions. Again, there and across there. Okay. Yeah. And already you can start to now see that this is going to be the collar. It's a very clever construction, this, isn't it? Yeah. I rather like that. But it's very thorough. Um, this pattern is mm. like. At the hem, the hem isn't just the fold up, but the hem has the facing on. Oh, nice. So everything is really considered to give that sort of, not professional look, because every make is also always going to look professional, but I mean, it just gives it that little bit extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That little bit extra. Okay. Now it says based. So what we now need to do, I'm just double checking this. Right, that needs to be folded over just a little bit more there. Okay. I'm just double checking. Yeah, fold line in half. Sorry. Just want to double check that that was all correct. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone watching this back and me have done something wrong again. I right, we'll don't. Back. Oh, we all do that though. Ooh. Once I couldn't remember how to put a zip in on air. <gasps> Did you just have like a. Just a mental block, and it was the simplest zippy pouch. And I'd sewn the, the front and the lining onto one side of the zip, oh. and I just couldn't get my brain to get around which way I put the lining fabric on. Oh, no. And I abandoned it in the end. It was bizarre. Um, just in the break then, my husband sent me a video. So. Four years ago today, mm -hmm. my daughter broke her arm Ooh. quite severely in, um, in the garden doing gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she's been at gymnastics this morning. She did a big tumble and Ooh. fell. Oh, she's okay. laughing about it now. Is she all right? But I said, Evelyn, what did you do? What did she do? She went, while I was in the air, I just forgot where I was. Oh, bless her. <gasps> Bless her. She was doing a backflip. Right. And then she went. Yes, yeah, she, she just got forgot. disorientated. Yeah. She well, just I, forgot where she was. Oh, is, she, is she okay? Yeah, Hasn't she's broken fine. anything. No. I was like, oh. Ooh. I'm wrapping her in cotton wool for the rest of the day. Yeah, I bet. She's not going anywhere. No. Yeah, Did she, you hear that? <laughs> she broke both of her bones in her arm. So it was like a banana. Ouch. Like that. Ouch. Yeah. Ooh. That made my tummy go slightly wobbly. The nurses were quite excited from this so when we went oh, in yes. they were like we went past the nurses yes. station and they were like oh. mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. put a, um, a uh, like a a trainee nurse with mm -hmm. us obviously to say look this is a case that you might never see again mm -hmm. it's that bad watch. oh my goodness but Charlie had that many years ago. He um, he had an injury and it was so on his arm and it was so unusual. They used to bring trainee doctors for weeks. He was in hospital really? for weeks and they used to bring trainee doctors. People from oh. other hospitals came to have a look because it was so Un bad. Yeah, and it's and a so, case for them yeah. to learn from, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, he got a bit fed up of it after a while though. Oh, well, she went down, had it reset, luckily with no pins. Mm. Um, and then within a week was back on a trampoline. So, what can you do, eh? Yeah. Okay. 
I've folded this now, given it a really good press, mm -hmm. and I've just pinned it. Now, all that we need to do here is baste, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So we're not doing a, a full stitch here. We're just trying to ooh, keep this all in place, and we're also going to baste this part here, which is mm -hmm. the bottom. So let's just show everybody that already you're starting to see the yeah. front coming together. Yeah, yeah, okay? definitely. And then the back bodice we're going to put on in a moment. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just going to base that so that I know that that won't come undone really quickly within. So do you do like long lines. stitching or just yeah, the normal? Just, I just do slightly longer. Don't go too far, but it's within the seam allowance. Right. Okay. Now, when I've basted before, if I can't see that base stitch afterwards, I'll just leave it in. Yeah, yeah. I don't go and fret about trying to take it back out. Okay. It looks really classic in this It does, fabric, doesn't, doesn't it? In that colour as yeah. well. Yeah, I'm excited to see how they turn out. Um, just to give you a quick stock update on all of the linen fabrics, the blue, should we do the blue, the the stone and the red blue's gone the red two bundles left we'll give you the details for the red 58.99 remember you get a five meter bundle it's enough to make the size 34 um and the stone with a lot more of the stone yeah we've got 10 left it's not a lot though it's not a lot at all don't think um, if the stone has been too white. I don't know how it's coming up on the camera, whether it looks quite pale. Mm. It's quite a warm It is. One, it isn't is. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's like um, holiday sand. Yes. It's that beautiful, yeah, yeah gorgeous colour. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Okay. So that's all that we're going to do with the front bodice for now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the back. Okay. So back bodice next. Yes. Want to move that out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so our back again is not done on a fold, mm -hmm. okay? Don't just assume, well, this is straight, it's a fold. There is a, a very, curve. very slight curve. It's not a huge curve, but there is a curve there, mm -hmm. all right? So right sides to right sides. I'd already cut it on right sides. That's just shifted slightly. And then we Has are- Has this fabric got a right side and a wrong side? No, but you need to choose which side. There is a slight difference Ooh, to okay. the weave look. Mm -hmm. See, that's a little bit flatter. Can that's see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to decide which side you are going to keep. Okay. Otherwise you're going to have a very textured front and a flat back. Right, gotcha. Okay. Sounds like me. Textured front, flat back. Yeah. <laughs> right, double check in seam allowances. Uh, five eighths again, which is a lovely uh, seam allowance that you then can adjust with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next bit is a little interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want you to be too worried about it, but we are going to create a French seam. Okay. French okay. seams are our friend. We like yeah. French seams. So let's just open up this seam because this seam will set against your back you would have already um overlocked mm. the edges it at home you've got more time to do, do that. that before you start yeah. making up the garment 100 percent, 100 percent. and when you're overlocking don't take any of the the fabric don't let it cut you mm -hmm. you just finishing and neating those seams up mm -hmm. okay so Let's just so show here, because this is where, if you were at home, you might slightly go wrong. So the shoulder and the neck are French seams. So we need to put wrong sides together. Mm -hmm. And when I was looking at this earlier, I was going, oh, that looks a bit unusual. Why is it gray? Because gray is wrong the side. right side right facing out. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, this doesn't look right. And then I was like, no, 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 Adele, read it again. We're doing a French seam along here. Gotcha. Okay? Now, this word came up, and you're a bit of an English buff, aren't you? Oh, mm-hmm. Finger Go slow me. as this takes some finagling. Finagling. So I did a bit of a Google search about what finagling means. Mm -hmm. It's like being deceitful. Is that right? 
Oh, really? Well, I've always used it to mean to fiddle with. Ah, so being deceitful, you fiddling with other people's magic. I guess so, yeah. Oh, I only know the word because years and years ago, I went to... Um, when I went to New York for the first Ooh. time, we went to Finagle a Bagel. Ah. And Finagle a Bagel, you had like about 15 different choices of bagel, right. about 20 choices of topping, and it went round and it was almost like a factory with conveyor belts oh. and different people working. And then finally at the end, you got your finished bagel. Ooh. But I'd never heard the word before. I was just really confused. I was mm. like, What's a finagle? I think it's quite an American word. It's more used in America than in ah, Britain. Ah, right. That explains it. It takes them. some finagling, Finagling. Okay, so this is where our finagling is. Okay. Every day's a school day. It really is. Every day's a school day. I love words. Because this here, look, is a square, and we're trying to sew it along a flat mm. edge. So it does talk about that we're going to pivot at the shoulder point, okay? And this is where our finagling is going to come into play. So again, we are doing a French seam. So it looks odd, the fact that I've got my right side out and mm -hmm. I'm sewing this seam, okay? We are going to sew this together with a quarter of an inch seam. Right. In my terms, that is six millimeter seam. Yes, absolutely. Okay, my imperial mind works like that. I'm making sure as well that my collar sits lovely with the center seam of the mm -hmm. back. You've got okay. seams to match up there, have yes, you? Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what we do with this French seam is we're then going to fold it over and then it's going to capture it all inside. Right, so we've got a lovely neat seam inside. Yes. Beautiful. Which I love actually, a French seam. I can imagine that being very comfortable on, yeah. across the shoulders and across the neck. Because mm. this neck piece is going to sit very close, doesn't it? So it's yes, really it does. really close to the neck. Really close. I love I love these special seams. I was um, I, yesterday I was filming some short videos for uh, Hobby Starter. All right. And I was doing um, flat fell yeah. seam, which I love a flat fell seam. Um, and and that again is one where you don't think about why you might use it until you do it. Uh, and then it all comes. And then it's like, like yeah, magic. You, on something like jeans, it's the it's the seam that's used on the outside seam on the leg yeah. or on on shirt sleeves oh, it's used there oh, yeah. so that you don't have the seam allowance rubbing against your skin oh. under your arm or right i've just run out of bobbin it's okay because i've got one ready to fill back oh up. you do brill there we go yes i remember on sewing bee on the second episode i made a a whole it was almost like a um, Japanese style, uh, it was asymmetric blouse, Ooh. and that was completely constructed with French seams, including oh. set in sleeves, which I thought when I started doing it, oh, I should I pick this? But and actually it was quite easy. And you enjoyed it? Was it wasn't difficult. Oh, and the finish was so beautiful when I'd finished it. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch back. Patrick hated it. He didn't say so, but he did. Oh, Stuart, now that, like I've met you yeah. and we've worked together. I've got to watch you back again now. You have, you have. You were one of my favourites. you were attached at the back. Am I attached just at the back? The, just the, uh, yeah. oh there we go, perfect. You were one of my favourites. Oh, thank you, one of. Well, I really like Lauren because I loved Love her Lauren. gown. Yeah. Yeah. Her sequin gown. The gold gown. gown. Oh. I picked that. I said she'd win the final. I loved yeah. that gown. We were all there at the final. Were you? Yeah, we were all there. And we were all watching throughout the day, watching them, them sew. We were all up in the wow. upper gallery watching, which was really cool. And um, they actually interviewed us all about who we thought would win. And I was like, hands down, Lauren is going to win with that gold dress. Oh, I, I loved, loved it. it. And I am, um, it kind of inspired me to make my gold dress for a wedding ah. that I made that I did a, a gold sequin bodice rose gold Ooh. and then a black satin skirt Beautiful. big full circle skirts wow um, and I wore it to a wedding and it's I've worn it to like school proms and everything it's kind of getting a little bit tatty now because I've worn it so many times <laughs> but I love it yeah so when you work a French seam the first seam that you sew is narrow yes very narrow and then 
it does say that you can then cut this down okay and i suppose somewhere like that you definitely yeah, would a bit let's have a little you? bit of a chop there look <clears throat> I might just quickly go across all of it actually Stuart because mm. I don't want it peeking out. We've plenty of time. Good. So all I'm doing is I'm trimming down this seam as close to the seam as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Don't rush this because if you cut through, oh, it would take all the shaping out. Mm. So let's keep going. How's your knitting going Stuart? The knitting's good. I'm just working on a triangular shawl scarf um, using my new sock yarn range. Oh, I remember you um, making a sample up last time. Yeah, so this time I'm using two of the other colours which have got ah. lovely kind of um, citrusy greens and blues um, and a little bit of grey and white in there as well. And I'm knitting that to, uh, at the moment. Lovely. What is that you? something that you just got to pick up? Yeah. So, so the, the pattern is so easy. Yeah. That it's just in my head, uh -huh. and I take it with me everywhere I go. And like, like yesterday, I was really sleepy, um, but I managed two rows. But it is a lot of stitches now. Yeah. It's about four hundred stitches. So I did two rows, and then I went to bed. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you can literally pick it up and just do a bit. Oh, what wow, about you? Um, so I've just finished another crochet top, uh, a little jumper, I love it. Then I'm now making um, a racerback crochet top. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm going for it. Sounds Only uses good. four little balls of yarn. Amazing. Um, and I have to say, I have thrown my dummy out the pram over my socks. I need have a you. tutorial with you. Just bring them in next time, we'll do them together. <sighs> Every time, I just need to get started. That's all it is. Okay. What, it, to... Working in the round? Yeah. Bring them in. We'll do it together. Oh, my The husband... easiest thing you can do is put four needles down on the table. Yeah. Lay them out on and the table them. with the stitches on. And then... And join them into the round flat yeah. on a table. Um, Cast all your stitches on one needle. Right. Then distribute them over four. Ah, lay it down. Don't try and cast well. on your stitches on four that's needles. That's what I was trying to do. I used to do that too. And then I thought, why don't I make it easy and do them all on one and then count them off? Right. Okay. Tomorrow you're going to ring me and tell me you've knitted the cuff. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Next week, maybe. I've got After some of your, um, your uh, the pink and purple sock yarn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking Gorgeous. in nature. I can't yeah. remember the name of it. Me neither. Um, <laughs> but I've got that one and I have literally put it, picked it up, put it down so many times. But... I do love my crochet. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I just have the rhythm. Mm. Okay, what we're now doing is I'm pushing this seam out mm -hmm. and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a steam. Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure that that sits nice and flat. Okay. Oh, keep pro poking myself. Oh, there's a pin in there, isn't there? Yeah. I just want to get these edges just along this arm here. Yeah. Okay, there. This would be a time, dare I say, when our fabulous Taylor Seville magic pins would be fab oh. because they have a, the heads on them are heat resistant so you can iron over them. Go really into them. Yeah. Okay, so what we've now got is our seam is encased inside. Mm -hmm. We're folding over and then we're now going to do a centimetre seam all the way around here. So this is the wrong side This now. is the wrong side, look. This is the wrong yep. side. And we're going to pivot around here. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. And already if I look, if I held this all together, that then will create that beautiful collar. Love that. Okay. Yes. Right. So. The only thing is now we're getting a bit thick. Yeah. This seam is quite thick with the fabric, but don't mm -hmm. worry, just take your time. Mm -hmm. Don't try and rush this part. Really glad you are showing us this part because out of the whole dress, this is the one bit which is like that sort of special skill yes. that you might have done a bit of dressmaking before but not done this before. So this is why we don't always show, or we can't ever show making the whole no. outfit. It's impossible. But we show the bits that matter. Yeah, the bits where we really need to just have someone guiding us yeah. through. 
Um, I get that. I get that. Right, so I'm just going to pivot at that point. Go on, you go. No, you're right, Karen. I'm just going to pivot and allow the fabric to reset itself, okay? Mm -hmm. By putting my foot up, my needle is still down, so mm -hmm. I'm still secure, but the fabric now is wanting to shift and I'm letting it shift, it's mm -hmm. okay. And then, again, just allow it to sit Oh, I understand, nice so there's almost like a little elbow in your sewing, it's not a straight line no. as such. No, no. There's a very slight pivot. Yeah. Makes but sense. But it's not like a, a 90 degree pivot. No. The details on screen, by the way, if you're wondering, are for the uh, pattern sizes 16 to 34. That's a US 16 to 34, so that's a UK 14 to 36. Okay. Right. Last seam. Oh, I've just caught it underneath. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. When I pivoted, all I've done is I've just slightly caught it. I'm just making sure. Yep, that's all okay. It's all okay. Great. Yeah. I felt it going offline and I was like, I've got too much on there. Mm -hmm. And it had just made a pucker underneath. I uh -huh. caught it just before I sewn over the pucker. Uh -huh. Adele's using the Elna 680 Plus, but at 12 o'clock, we're going to be having a look at budget-friendly sewing machines under £500. We've got a fab Elna, which is under £200. Oh, that'd be really good. You know, like, well, I've seen a few people doing when they go on holiday, mm -hmm. they take their sewing mm -hmm. machine with them. Mm -hmm. So that if you're sat in a lovely cottage, yeah. you can still just craft away rather than just scrolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. absolutely. Uh, out to cottages or um, classes, workshops, yes. or just if you've got a member of the family who's been really inspired by, say, yep. the sewing bee or watching Sewing Street and um, wants to get into sewing. Yeah. Right. Look how nice this is. I even Beautiful. gave a bit of a. Oh, when I saw it, right, let me put it on. Mm. Will you sort me out at the back? Yeah, of course they will. Let's pull that down. Oh, that collar is lush. There. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. It sits so lovely against mm. the neck, doesn't mm. it? It really does. Just watch your microphone oh, a little yeah. bit. I'm just going to, if I open out that collar, just, yep. just open it out so we can see that as well. And then. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that nice? You're ready for the wedding. Oh, Yes, mm. although could you wear stone for a wedding, maybe the blue or the red? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't wear white. <coughs> I don't even know what I'm wearing. Uh, I'm a bridesmaid for my sister's wedding. Right. She's not sent me a photo yet. Are you providing the dress? I don't know. <laughs> I think I need to. I think I need to have a, a message right, with forget, her. Forget forget socks. The thing you need to do when you go home is ring her <laughs> and ask her. Promise me. I'm going to worry now. You just made me think. Then I was like, oh yeah, I don't know. She asked me my shoe size. Okay. So I'm thinking. Imagine just turning up on the day of the wedding, thinking there'll be a dress for you, and there isn't. Can you imagine? All right, I would just whip hey, uh, one up. <laughs> yeah, you could. Okay, right. We're just now going to do the inner seams there. Okay. Is that bit across the top, is that the only French seam? Yep, only French seam. everything else is your regular... It's so oh. that that collar fits in so nicely around mm. the neck and you don't have a pesky sort of edge, overlocked edge sitting on your neck. And against your neck, yeah, no, it's lovely. And I'm really, actually, I'm really uh, surprised, actually, how, how beautifully that turns out. Yep. And how easy it was to do. Yep. It mm. just needed some fingerlinging. Finagling. Finagling. Fingerlingling. Do you know what? I'm going to use that. Don't in. make up your own words, Adele. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to try and drop that in this week at school somewhere. Do it. Some finagling. Do what? Finagling. 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 You're adding okay. extra aging. <laughs> <laughs> You're finagling with the word. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Some, at some point, the kids will be like, what? what? I'm like, well, every day's a school day. I'm a teacher of English as well as science. 
Do you teach English as well? No, but do you know what I have been teaching this Go term? Go on. RE. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. So my lovely GCSE RE is yeah. coming in play. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. Oh, nice one. Um, I always enjoy teaching RE in junior school. Yeah. And do you know what? It's the wonder of the kids. And like, we've had yeah. some lovely debates about yes. should churches be used for other events? Mm -hmm. And like we're talking, they didn't know what a food bank was. Well, some of them did, but they didn't know what, how like citizens advice, mm -hmm. food banks use them, mother groups, youth uh, clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Right, so that is the bodice done. Amazing. And Looks then all gorgeous. we need to do is just turn up those hems. Okay, just to finish off that. But absolutely can we just love appreciate those little this? pleats and, look and at this. Yeah. I know it is absolutely gorgeous. That's going to sit really nicely against yeah. your neck, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No rubbing against your neck at all. No. It's lovely. I'm just going to turn it yep. around as well. Just. Oh, yes, the right way around on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Australia yet, are we? Not yet, not People yet. People are sick and tired of these But things, things like actually, bizarrely, you don't expect it, but things are the right way up in Australia. You no. think they're going to be upside <laughs> down. I love it, I love it. And then the sleeves, is it just a little hem? Yep, just a tiny little hem. Um, the, the longer sleeve, you do get the option that you can fold it up mm -hmm. there. And then all that needs to happen now is we have a skirt with darts. Yep. It's not pleats pockets on and then all we do is attach the bodice to the skirt by one single line oh. and it's brilliant look how nicely it comes together you yeah. just need your inner ties look this is the thing yes it's 17 uh, 29 pages long but it is taking you through every step of the way Literally, even how to do a button loop every single step i love that that's what makes it really beginner friendly yep. and approachable yeah, don't be it afraid. Really is. Please don't be afraid with this pattern. Yeah, no, it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much for showing that to us and sharing all those wonderful tips. Adele's great, isn't she? Love it when Adele Rowland's here. Um, will we see you yes. before? Yeah, when yep. you're back. Um, I'm not exactly, can't remember the date, but there is a date in July. Um, and then I'll see everyone in September. Fantastic. I hope to see you when you come yes, back. Yes, fingers crossed I'll see you. Brilliant. If it's John, I'll be like, where's Stuart? Yeah, <laughs> just insist, I would. <laughs> right, so the pattern is the Wildwood Wrap Dress from Soho 7. Uh, we're going to go to a little break, aren't we? Mm. We're going to go to a break. And when we come back, we've got budget sewing machines for under £500. Don't go anywhere. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account. 
and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping!
Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. I'm excited about this hour because we're talking budget sewing machines, all of them under £500. We're going to start with this beauty here from Elna, which is actually under £200. Now, you might think, should I ever spend under £200? Surely I should spend over £500 to get a decent machine. And actually, no. So long as you go with a great brand. This is Elna here. And Elna have produced a fabulous mechanical sewing machine. Now, again, you might be thinking, oh, mechanical. Aren't I supposed to go for computerised? Well, actually... Uh, there is an awful lot to be said for a mechanical sewing machine. If you get a computerised sewing machine, um, which is very, very affordable, um, you probably compromise on the build quality in order for it to be um, computerised as well. With a mechanical sewing machine, they've simplified uh, the construction but kept it good and strong, great quality, a really reliable machine that you can use, whether you're a beginner or not. Um, if you want to get this as a machine that you take to workshops and classes, if you want this as a second machine so that when the grandkids or your children are over, you can sit and sew together. Maybe, you want, maybe you're really into machine embroidery, but you want a machine that you can do some sewing on while your embroidery machine is doing its thing. Let me tell you about this. This is the Elna 220. Now, stitch-wise, You've got 16 different stitches. They're here along the top. Now you've got a stitch selector there as well. So you can choose your different stitches. You've also got stitch width adjustment. If I just show you there, so you've got straight stitch center into the left. You've got zigzag, stretch zigzag. You've got your blind hem. You've got over edge stitching functions. You've got that triple stitch to the left and central as well, which is a great um, straight uh, stretch stitch as well, or also really nice for sort of heavy top stitching. You've got a triple zigzag. Again, you can use that for nice top stitching actually, or applying elastic. Um, good use for that. Um, you've got your overlocking stitches along the bottom, you've got that lovely feather stitch as well. You've also got your buttonholes and your buttonhole is a four-step buttonhole. So you get your buttonhole foot, I'll show you that right here. And so what you're going to do with that is you're going to measure out and mark the length and the width that you want your buttonhole uh, to be on your garment. You're then going to choose the first part of the buttonhole. You'll stitch that, pick the second part and stitch that. So you do your buttonhole in four steps. Okay. 
Now you get your buttonhole foot, you also get your blind hemming foot, which is also a really nice foot for top stitching as well, because you have this little wheel just right here at the top, okay? And as you screw or unscrew it, it moves. This is a fabric guard, so you butt your fabric up against that and you can have it nearer or further away from the needle. So you can adjust that to get really nice even top stitching as well as blind hemming. Um, you also get an adjustable zipper foot. Now, what I really love about this, this also has a little wheel on the back. So you loosen that off and then you can position this foot in numerous different positions, get it exactly where you want it, and then tighten it up and stitch. This is also brilliant when you're doing things like applying piping, covered piping cord, trims, bobble trim, absolutely fab. And then of course you get your standard foot, which is already fitted on the machine. Um, it's a front loading bobbin. So this is, so you've got your little accessory box at the front. And then what I'm gonna do is just pull this off because you've got your free arm. Okay, you've got your free arm. And then can you see down here, you have, so this is where your bobbin is and it's in a traditional bobbin case. Just have to twist it around for a second, just so I can show you. So you've got your traditional bobbin case, yeah. And then you've got your bobbins. And all you do, if you've only ever used top loading bobbins before, so you'll wind your bobbin up here. And then when you put your bobbin in, you want to put it in with the thread coming off the back. It goes in, you pull it, there's a little slot in here and it comes through here. And then you just put the whole thing back into the machine like that. And it's installed. Few little technical and sewing features to share with you. It's an amazing machine for under £200, I think. Let's have a little look at this. Uh, adjustable stitch length between zero and four mil, stitch width up to five mil, variable needle positions to the left and to centre. Um, the stitches are displayed on the front of the machine, so nice and easy to access. You can also do circular sewing, twin needle sewing. You've got a good strong construction. This machine is surprisingly um, weighty. Still portable, of course, but surprisingly weighty. It's not a light, flimsy machine. It's not going to be rattling around when you're sewing. Um, I just want to check. Uh, I want to check where you drop. It says you can drop the feed dogs, but I'm looking and I'm not seeing the button. It does say you can drop the feed dogs. Okay, I'm going to check that, I'm going to check that. Uh, front loading bobbin, built in, no it hasn't got a built in thread cutter, I mean it, well it has on the side, yeah, yeah no I suppose in that sense it's got a built in thread cutter. A sewing light, a large sewing surface, you've got your free arm so you can do things like you know bag making and uh, turning up trousers, that sort of thing. A carrying handle. You've got a soft cover for it as well. So a really good all-rounder machine. Absolutely fab value for money. Fab value for money. Less than £200. That is a really, really good price. 66 33 633 for that. Absolutely fab. I'm going to have a look to drop the feed dogs. Yes, there is. Well, I've never seen one like that before. Uh, here. See that little catch? There we go. Do you see? 
So this is how you drop them. So you drop it forward and then push it to the right and the feed dogs are dropped. And then to raise them again, you pull it back towards the bobbin and that drops the feed dogs. Well, Bruce, you are a superstar. Bruce Director, just look that up for us. Fabulous, thank you. So you can drop the feed dogs. Well, dogs, now I am blown away by that because I was thinking, now, now actually, point of fact here, a lot of the time when I do free motion quilting, I do not drop my feed dogs. I leave them up, I set my stitch length to zero and it works absolutely beautifully. But anyway, you can drop the feed dogs. So that's a cracking little machine that for £199. That is a cracking machine. 1st of July, these are going to go up in price. Do we know what this is going to go up to? I reckon it'll be £249. I'm going to guess, but I reckon it'll be a £50 rise. Well, the prices are definitely going up on the 1st of July. So right now you can get this machine for £199. And I think it's very, very fair to say that is the lowest price you'll ever see this at. Um, that's brilliant. I'm really, really pleased to see an Elna sewing machine that looks like it does a great job for £199. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Right, I'm going to do a little swapsy here. And I'm going to swap this out for the two... 40. So that's the 220. This is the 240. This is the 240 here, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I've swapped it out for the wrong one. This is the 240, yep. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Yeah, 1st of July, all these prices will be going up. Now this one's going to go up to 269 at the moment it's 229 pounds so let me tell you about this machine this is the elna 240. so let's get straight to the feet because the one thing that you might have been thinking not sure about a four-step buttonhole <coughs> excuse me for an extra £30, this has an automatic one-step buttonhole. So this is the kind of foot that you're going to use. This is the foot you get included. And this is going to stitch your entire buttonhole in one step. So you don't have to do four separate steps. Essentially, back in the day when automatic buttonholes were introduced, they were all four-step. And so the refinement of that was they became one step, you push the button, you put your foot on the pedal and they stitch the whole thing. Um, but, uh, but this one is one step, so we like that. Okay, let's talk about number of stitches. So this has got 24 different stitches. Again, there they are, all shown on the front. We've got a few decorative satin stitches there. We've got a lovely feather stitch some little scallops very nice you've got stitch width and length adjustment so for your I'm gonna have to turn this around just for a second um, so for your length adjustment you've got a dial at the top for your um, width you've got a button here at the side here and here and then your stitch selection round here Okay, you can also do your reverse sewing here. You've got your little button. You've got that on the 220 as well. So you just hold it down to reverse sew, let it go to sew in the normal direction. You've also got your accessory box on the front. You can remove that so you've got your free arm. I now know, hurrah, that you can drop your feed dogs by using this little button here at the side. So we're gonna uh, pull that forward and then push away and that drops the feed dogs. And then to get them back, pull it back in towards you. And then as soon as you take your first stitch, the feed dogs come back up again. Uh, carrying handle as well. Uh, you get your cover for this as well. 
it's actually worth I think considering this um, perhaps over the 220 the 220 is a great machine but you've got those extra stitches you've got that automatic one step buttonhole there which I think if you're going to do a lot of buttonholes could make your life a lot easier if you're only doing occasional is it this one all right what's the heavy one for oh you get a soft and a hard case for that one all right sorry um, right, here's your cover for it. Um, yeah, if you're going to be doing a lot of buttonholes, doing a lot of dressmaking, I think it would probably be worth going for the 240. It's £30 extra and you get that one step buttonhole plus those extra stitches. Um, you also, as well in your foot package, you get your standard foot, you get your open-toed embroidery foot now this is what you're going to use for things like your um, satin stitches decorative stitches so you've got an open-toed embroidery foot I would also use that foot for things like foundation paper piecing you get your standard foot on it which you're going to use most of the time you get that blind hemming foot that you can adjust with the wheel I do think that's really smart. I like that a lot. And then you get your fully adjustable zipper foot as well. So this sits on the bed of the machine. You can adjust it to the left and the right so you can get right up against the teeth of the zip. Also really good if you're doing invisible zips as well. And then of course you get that automatic one step buttonhole foot, a seam ripper, some bobbins, needles, uh, and of course your little screwdrivers for when you want to change the feet. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with what you get. Um, with the 220 and the 240, uh, these are both machines that work with a foot pedal. Um, they don't have a start stop button. That is something you'll only get on a computerized sewing machine. And these are both manual sewing machines. So they use a foot pedal. Uh, afternoon Stuart thank you for all your help on the Elna 240 I've bought one for me not used one since school ah oh, Sharon I'm proud of you well done is that your first sewing machine since school I'm really proud of you for doing that it is it's such a fun hobby to get into and um a, a sewing machine just suddenly makes everything so much faster and more achievable you'll be amazed at how much you can get done well done look forward to seeing what you make um it doesn't have to be a massive investment to get a good sewing machine you want to get a brand that you know and trust or is trusted by other people we love our elness here at sewing street the elna 680 is my at home machine john has an elna lots of uh, um becky alexander frost has an elna delphine's got an elna lots of us have them bex reed too um, it's a fabulous brand and you get a huge amount for your money with a real quality build machine real quality build machine what i love about it is good and solid reliable powerful as well so if you want to sew things like denim and thicker fabrics don't think that because you're paying a, a lower price that your machine's not going to cope it will it'll do a lovely job so that's the 240 last of all we're going to have a look at the 350 is it 340 thank you 340 there we go the 340 now again this is our last uh, mechanical sewing machine now this is due to go up to 389 pound on the 1st of July <clears throat> oh you get a lot of kit and caboodle with this this is a lot of sewing machine for 349 pounds so I think, you know what, each time what I'm seeing is every time we take quite a small increase in price, we're actually getting quite a lot more in sewing machine. So with this one, mechanical sewing machine, we get 25 stitches, 25 stitches. Again, they are shown on the top of the machine right here. Let's have a quick look at those. So we've got our automatic one-step buttonhole, 
and we've got satin stitches, decorative stitches, we've got triple stitches as well for sewing stretch fabrics, zigzags, overlocking stitches, blind hemming as well. So all of those included. Um, we've got a larger flatbed to work on. So a larger surface area as a flatbed. This is all removable. So it's almost like a mini extension table actually. Um, and then exposes our free arm. We all know the drill now. Um, we've got uh, the ability to drop our feed dogs. This time though, it's actually the more familiar button at the back, right here. Because on this machine, this is a top loading bobbin. So we're starting to, to move towards perhaps the machines that you're more familiar with seeing here on Sewing Street. So if I tilt that forward, you can see we've got a top loading bobbin, nice and easy to pop those in. You've got your standard foot fitted to the machine, an open toed embroidery foot. You've got a blind hem foot. You've got an over edge stitching foot or an overlocking foot for neatening edges. You've got a zipper foot, more standard looking zipper foot. And you've also got your automatic one step buttonhole foot. Plus you've also got a seam guide bar. So this fits in to the machine like this, fits through, okay, so that you can adjust the width of the seam from um, way so, which is really good for things like quilting and decorative top stitching. Um, you get a pack of needles, you get bobbins, you get your brush, your screwdriver, all that kind of stuff. Um, you also get two covers for it. So you get your dust cover, but then you also get a hard case. So like I say, you're getting a lot of extras for your machine for not that much extra money. It's a great machine, isn't it? This is the Elna 340. Really good, robust machine. Very important question. How oh, good afternoon, Stuart. Please can you tell me what is that quilt hanging behind you? Christine, let me tell you. Let me tell you, this quilt right here is called The Sun, The Moon and The Stars. And it's a brand new quilt kit from Jason Yenta. We're all in love with this quilt. Um, Deputy Joan and I made this one. Um, Joan did the piecing, I quilted and bound it. And it's just a glorious bit of piecing. Thanks, Kat. I'll show you the pattern because you'll perhaps see the whole design a little bit better um, on the pattern. And the pattern, you actually get full instructions to make either the queen size or the twin size. And it's actually the twin size that's hanging behind me. And that's the one that you get the fabric for. But the twin size is really big. It, um, it's 67 and a half inches by 83 and a half inches. So a really good double bed quilt. Thanks for grabbing that. You are good, Kat. Um, but yeah, the fabrics are so beautiful. Celestial, uh, suns, moons, stars. You've got um, fungi and wildflowers. You've got lovely gold accents and that beautiful border fabric is something else isn't it absolutely beautiful now I'm going to move over to the other side Fab. All right. Now, wanted to mention a couple of things while I'm here. I've got the Brother FS250, which... Um, I'm going to get to that in a second. I uh, just wanted to mention, we've been very excited this morning because back in stock today is our Quilters Calico. And we love it. We love it. Um, we've got over 300 of you with this in your baskets. Um, and we don't actually know how many units each one of you has got in your baskets. So we could actually sell out. If 300 of you have three units, 
will have sold out. We haven't got 900 units, Ben. Yeah, there you go. We've, we've actually got, so have we got 100 metres left? Yeah, we've got 100 metres of Quilters Calico left. We started off with over 1,000? Yeah. So if you want to get some Quilters Calico, I, I, I'm giving you those real numbers now because, because sometimes we say, oh, lots of you have got it in baskets and you think, well, what's lots? Is it five or is it, or is it 20? But actually we're talking about a thousand meters of calico selling in a morning because this is something that every single sewer wants and needs. Use it for quilt backs, use it for the underside when you're quilting, use it for quilting practice. I'm gonna be talking about that in a minute. Also use it for piecing. It looks lovely with pretty fabrics. Um, really lovely with pretty fabrics like Liberty fabrics. Think about Sally Ann Harrison's lovely Liberty uh, pleat cushion. It would work beautifully with calico. Um, but also for things like twirls. Absolutely fab. Mm. It's uh, just a brilliant fabric. Um, we are your one-stop shop for fabric, aren't we, really? Uh, no other shop's gonna have a thousand meters of calico, and certainly no other shop would sell a thousand meters of calico in the morning. Um, there we go. Yes, yes, amazing stuff, love it. Like I say, if you wanna do things like practice your quilting, get yourself, I would get yourself about five meters of calico, use all your oddments of quilt batting, um, layer up quilt sandwiches like this, right? Layer up quilt sandwiches like this. This is about 12 inches square. Calico on both sides, a scrap of batting in the middle, and just 505 it together. And then either just leave it plain and quilt, practice a particular pattern, or draw lines, grids, or stencil shapes on and then practice quilting. And actually what I like to do to be economical is I'll quilt maybe three times. I'll use a light thread and I'll follow the lines in quilt. I'll use a medium colored thread and I'll stitch over the top of that. And then I'll use a dark thread and I'll do one more go. And I just stitch on top, on top, on top so that I'm not making loads and loads of these sandwiches. And just practice your quilting. Even things like diagonal lines on your walking foot. Just practice following the line. Practice sewing in a straight line because um, it will. it is a, a skill. Even sewing on a drawn line is a skill that you need to practice. And if you do it here on your calico, when you go to your actual project, you will be so much better at the quilting and your finished project will look better. Nice message actually from Fran, who's got in touch about mechanical as opposed to computerized machine. And Fran says, I much prefer a mechanical machine as much as anything. I don't do machine embroidery. I think mechanical machines get a bit lost and forgotten sometimes, don't they, Fran? And actually they're a good, strong, robust machine. And actually, if your budget is two, 300 pounds, you are much better off getting a two or 300 pound mechanical machine from a brand you know and love than some bizarre, obscure, never heard of it sewing machine from a supermarket that you think, oh, that's a lot, it's very dodgy. Uh, Carolyn from West Midlands got in touch to say, I've just grabbed 10 meters of calico. It's got so many uses and the brother machine is absolutely superb. Mine is currently working on a carpenter star quilt. Oh, yummy, love that. Um, now, Carolyn, you've just illustrated a very, very good ex um, lesson for us all there, which is we have no idea how many units those 300 customers who have currently got calico in their baskets are buying. We don't know whether it's one unit. We do know that nobody has checked out one single unit today, right? Everyone's been multi... Oh, one person, one person the whole morning. 
20 units that would be 10 meters that's carolyn that's carolyn um but we don't know so if all 300 of you have got 10 units in your shopping bag, we can't do it we haven't got that much we're over allocated so check out your baskets if you're buying calico um steph says we need an episode in basic free motion quilting i can't do it I'll, I'll try and do a little bit today if I can. Right, okay, excellent. A message about warranty, asking what's the warranty? Uh, you get a two year warranty. Um, uh, Lynn says, hi there, is there a warranty with the machines please? Thanks Lynn, yes, two years. One year is a legal requirement, but you get two years. So you get a year's extension to your warranty um, on all of the machines that I'm showing you today, Lynn. You can buy with confidence. And um, the other th great thing is that now that we here at Sewing Street are the, um, ambassadors the partners the place in the uk the home of elna um, we'll have two dedicated members of staff here on our customer services that can help you you'll also have elna customer service that you can also access during their business hours so we really have got you covered right let's talk brother sewing machines for a few minutes now, this was a deal we were not supposed to have, uh, Mr. Hillard, um, but you know what I'm like for whining and trying to get a good deal. Can you imagine when I go shopping? Um, I want the best deal. And I don't just want the best deal for, for me, I want the best deal for you as well. Now, the brother, FS250 is an incredible machine for £399. So we're £50 more than the Elna 350, 340 but let me tell you what you're getting with this machine because you're getting a whole heap. So starting off, it's a computerized sewing machine. Now we've been talking a lot about how great mechanical machines are and I would never go too cheap on a computerized sewing machine, but this is Brother. And I've been using Brother sewing machines for 30 years or more and brother have been making sewing machines for well over a hundred years they've made millions of them for the home and the uh, industry markets so they really know what they're doing you've got a computerized sewing machine you've got 250 stitches on this machine so this machine really does do it all you've got all of your dressmaking stitches all of your utility stitches plus you've got lots of decorative stitches here as well you've got i want to say eight buttonholes you've also got a button sewing feature you have got a ton of different decorative satin stitches on your machine as well and you've also got lots which have been mirror imaged lots that have been mirror imaged or flipped you've got things like blanket stitches there for blanket stitch applique you've also got blind hemming you've got um, over edge stitching or overlocking stitches you've got stretch stitches an absolute ton and all of your 250 stitches are shown there on the front of your machine now you've also got alphabets you've got three of them here at the top so you've got a block capital, you've got an outline capital, and you've got a cursive capital, plus all the numbers, plus European accented letters as well. So if you have a Bjorn or a Bjork, a Sven or a Francoise, uh, no problem at all. You can program in up to 50 um, uh, letters numbers spaces so if you need to do name labels or messages uh, you can do them uh, now foot package wide wise it's immense it wasn't quite good enough which is where my whining stepped in but uh, let me tell you what you get so you get your standard foot on the machine that's your standard zigzag foot now you're also getting in the box right here you're getting a zipper foot you get a blind hem foot an over edge stitching foot you get an open toed embroidery foot a button hole automatic one step button hole and a button sewing foot so there in the compartment there 
at the front. Thank you, Bruce. Nice shot. Um, you also get large, medium and small thread spool cap covers. OK, depending on what size reel of thread you're going to use. Now, also, you get a load of special dressmaking feet. So you get a fully adjustable zipper and piping and pom-pom attaching foot. You're there with me for that. You get a gathering foot for doing ruffles and gathers. You get a pin tuck foot to use with a twin needle to make gorgeous uh, pin tucks. You get a straight stitch foot. That's gorgeous for top stitching with. You won't get better top stitching. Uh, you also get a rolled hem foot. This is a lot for 399, isn't it? This is an awful lot for 399. And look at this bag makers. You get a non-stick foot. Now, there are two feet you don't get with this. Oh, sorry, there's one more foot that I missed out. This is your bias binding attaching foot. If you're a dressmaker, can you imagine? Wonderful. Right, so there's two feet you don't get with it that I think you might want. One of them <coughs> is a darning foot or free motion quilting foot. Okay, this we have on the show, it's £17.49. pence. So for an extra £17.49, pence, grab that and you've got your free motion quilting and darning foot. The other foot that you, I think, would want with this machine is a walking foot. We'll give you the graphics. Do not buy it yet. Do not buy it yet. It's $39.99. I whined and I said to Haley, the boss, I said, look, can we can we do a little deal? Could we maybe? And she said, yes. So you get the walking foot $39.99 for free included with your brother FS250. So literally, if you pay $17.49 extra, you'll get the darning foot as well. Uh, he ain't heavy, he's my brother, and those letters are superb for signing your quilts. If anyone is umming or ahhing, I cannot recommend it enough. Thank you, Carolyn in the West Midlands. Lovely message. Um, I should have sung it really, shouldn't I? He ain't heavy. Uh, hi Stuart, I bought the FS250 a few years ago and I love it. Made everything from clothes, bags, quilts and homewares on it. It's well worth every penny. That's from Jessica who's in Buckinghamshire. Thank you so much. Um, George says, hi Stuart, I got this brother FS250 a few months ago. Love it. I've only been quilting since Christmas. Welcome to the family. And now I'm waiting for my horn table to come. See you all. <laughs> That's fabulous. Absolutely brill. Absolutely brill. It's a superb machine. You get so much for the money. It's incredible. Um, it is, it is, it's almost too much value, isn't it? It rather puts everything else into the shade, but like a lot of things, like cars, we often have our favourite brand. I'm very, very keen on my Elners. I, I, you know, I have a brother embroidery, uh, a brother computerized sewing machine, which I also love, but I also love my Elners. So it depends where your loyalties lie, I suppose, or what you want to get out of a machine. You know, mechanical machines, it's a great motor, it's strong, it's sturdy. Um, your computerized sewing machine has so many bells and whistles. Three alphabets. You know, if you want to get into computerized sewing machines, this is just about the best entry point I think you'll ever find. It's fab. Now you also, as if all of that wasn't enough, you do also get an extension table. You get an extension table. You can of course drop your feed dogs for free motion quilting. I'll just pop that on. There's your extension table. Mine lives on my machine. Yeah, really fab. Um, and also, obviously you've got your free arm there. Dropping your feed dogs, you've got a button round the back that you just push to one side. And um, 
if you ever come back to your machine and you're trying to sew and your machine isn't feeding the fabric through check that you haven't still got the feed dogs dropped the other thing that you get included with this machine is a hard case um, which is absolutely brill particularly if your sewing machine needs to be put away after each sewing session and perhaps if it's somewhere that's a bit sort of high traffic this will keep it protected it's a nice hard case and will protect it from dust and sunlight but also from knocks and bangs love that as i mentioned if you're buying the deal today you do not need to think about a walking foot because you're getting that for free but you might want to get the darning foot which is 17.49 um, now one thing i haven't mentioned on this is that you can have it on five split pays um, that's for today only at midnight tonight it will go back to its usual three Normally we offer three split pays and they obviously would be somewhere in the region of 133 pounds and 33 pence. Um, but today you can get it on five split pays. So all you pay today is 79 pounds and 80 pence. Have you been inspired by the sewing bee this year? Have you been inspired by Adele Rowland with her amazing dressmaking? Um, remember for as a dressmaking machine, wonderful. We've got your straight stitches, stretch stitches, zigzags, eight buttonholes, button sewing functions, so sewing buttons on by machine, eyelets, decorative stitching. We've got that big extension table so we can manage larger garments. You've also got things like your adjustable zipper foot, straight stitch pin tuck, rolled hem, bias binding and ruffling or gathering attachment. All of these brilliant for dressmaking. Now, if you're a quilter um, and you want to do your patchwork and quilting, is it good for you? You've got your straight stitches. You've got your quarter inch stitch on your machine. So perfect quarter inch seam allowance. You've got things like zigzag and different blanket stitches for doing applique. You've also got, I don't want to tell you lies here, but I'm just going to check it. Yep, you've got your mock hand quilting stitch. Can I just show you this? Do you have a look at the side here? I'm just going to come round to the front for a second. So this is stitch number 48 stitch number 48 and actually if you hone in just about here you'll see we've got a number of stitches that have p and q next to them some here and some further down these are stitches which have been specifically added in for patchwork and quilting so we've got things like our seam allowances and this here this one is our mock hand quilting now what you do for that is you put regular thread in the bobbin okay so let's say for example we do we want like sort of hand quilted almost sashko look on light you know blue denim fabric so put white thread in your bobbin put um, monofilament or invisible thread in the top my recommendation is yli yli invisible thread monofilament it's the best i think so it's gorgeous right thread your machine up um, I think, if I remember rightly, when you use the stitch, you turn your upper tension up to maximum. When you stitch, what it does is it takes one stitch, okay, forward, and then it takes another stitch, and then it goes backwards and forwards, and it pulls the bobbin thread up to the top which creates a stitch in that white thread that you use for your bobbin, which shows on the top. Your next stitch is one single stitch forward and you've got invisible thread in the top, so you can't really see that stitch. So that's your gap. Then your next stitch is forward, back, forward. It pulls the bobbin thread up, so you see a little white stitch. And so what you've got the illusion of is a little running stitch or quilting stitch, but it's all done by machine. You've got that on your machine for £399. You've got a walking stitch 
40 pounds value added in for nothing. Afternoon, Stuart. My brother cost me a thousand pounds more and I had to buy those feet as extras. It's a fantastic deal. Love, Marie. Marie, I feel a bit sad. I'm sure you've got a brilliant brother sewing machine for 1400 pounds, but yes, it is a, it's slightly painful, isn't it, when you have to go and buy those extra feet. I've never seen a machine at under £400 with this foot package. Um, all of these extra dressmaking feet, the bias binding foot, it's got to be £20, £25 worth just for that. Um, a non-stick foot for bag making, PU, faux leather, oil cloth, absolutely super, vinyl, just brilliant. All thrown in for nothing, um, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You always think, don't you, if, you, if you've got a lower budget, you have to compromise, you're going to get less. I don't think you're having to compromise at all on this machine. And it's portable. Now, it's got a good weight to it. It's got a good weight to it. Okay. I definitely need two hands to pick it up like that. But you've also got, look, this handle in the back right here for transporting it and you can get to that once the once the lid is on so I've got my protective case on I can still get to that handle now my top tip here is when you're carrying this if you can have your other hand underneath or even if you're going to be transporting it a lot have a look on our website for one of our fab sewing machine bags so you've got a nice big shoulder strap as well um, because it's a decent weight machine this and um, just incredible value for money now we're at that stage where we need to talk stock remaining and I'm surprised that we're having to have this conversation because I thought we've got pretty decent numbers but apparently not. Um, we've got 12 of these left. We've got 12 of these left. So you're getting your brother FS250, you're getting all of your standard feet included with the machine, all those utility feet, your zipper, your uh, uh, blind hem foot, your overlocking, that sort of thing. Okay. You're also getting your dressmaking foot package, which is seven extra feet for no extra money. That's a, a non-stick foot, a rolled hem, a pin tuck, an adjustable piping and zipper foot, a straight stitch foot, a gathering foot, and a bias binding attacher, all of those thrown in for nothing. You're getting an extension table, a hard case, and because I whined and asked on your behalf, you're also getting 39.99's worth of walking foot included for free. Now I know we often have nice little deals with sewing machines where you get some fabric and a panel and maybe a pattern, things like that. But I'm going to be really honest with you, if it was me, I'd want the walking foot. That would, I'd be thinking this is the day because that walking foot is something I know I definitely would have to buy and I would buy and I'm saving myself £40 by getting that included. I would strongly recommend, if you're thinking of buying this for quilting, that you add in. It was a step too far, I did ask. It was a step too far to get the darning foot as well. But I mean, it could have been the darning foot included for 17.49, and you have to buy a 39.99 walking foot. So I mean, it was the best one to get included. This is 17.49, you can buy this on the website. And I think that's the only thing that's missing from literally wanting and having it all. Single figures on this, single figures. 12 in baskets, nine left, that's it. Um, yeah, fabulous machine. We've had loads of lovely comments about it. So many great reviews as well. Um, it's also, you know, if, you've, if you want to hop onto the Facebook group and chat to other uh, viewers who have got the FS250 um, and see what they think. We get great reviews. I often see them at workshops and classes as well. Um, the deal that we've got, 
ends at midnight tonight or when this machine sells out it will definitely be ended at midnight tonight but um yeah it will end there all right gonna leave that with you best of luck um shall we do the menu let's do the menu for tomorrow all right so we're starting off at eight o'clock i love a bargain it's clearance fabrics and then at nine o'clock one of the most fun quilters i know jenny jackson is here with her june strip of the month uh at 10 30 are we doing an extra are we doing like nine till 10 30 on strip of the month yummy love that um at 10 30 we've got lighting and tools and then at 11 a.m we've got the english paper piecing poof and the long box pouch with jenny jackson poof <laughs> at 12 o'clock we've got sewing room tools also just want to remind you uh on monday i'll be guesting we'll have this beautiful quilt at 10 o'clock this is my cobblestone cabin it's a brand new pattern from me it's a scrap quilt you can use your scraps you can use your jelly rolls you can use your fat quarters for this and there's about nine or ten different designs and patterns within the pattern you also get the pattern to create the half size block so you can use that for smaller projects like runners and cushions bags but you can also use the same block and create a quilt four of these equals one of these so imagine making this country star quilt with not one big star but four stars in all your favorite fabrics now also earlier in the day at eight o'clock on monday morning i'm going to be showing you this beautiful quilt this is called the sun the moon and the stars which always gives me a little bit of a lump in my throat because i just think it's beautiful and um, it's a glorious quilt it's a brand new kit from jason yenta uh, there's some really stunning fabrics in here and i love the theme of this it's about, you know, nighttime, the garden at night, the ferns, the fungi and mushrooms, the insects and, and moths. Also, you've got that glorious border around the outside, which really does make it. I'm going to be showing you how to do all of that um, at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. Uh, thank you for your company today it's been a laugh it's been wonderful I've learned loads of new things about dressmaking too and I hope you have um, I will see you at 8am tomorrow take care